Hello everyone, and welcome back to BAM 12. I am Osu, and now I'm realizing that the uh, the tags are in the wrong order. Let me just fix that up so that cool. you viewers can understand who's who. How can okay, that's better. That? I'm Osu, I'm joined today by Head TO, Mr. Rendered Spy. How are you doing? I am doing all right, thank you very much. Ah, oh, that's very good to hear. We did see you kind of panicking and getting all stressed out earlier on today. But, I mean, now that you're here commentating, you'll be able to put some of that stress into just raw gamer energy, commentating some of these uh, hype upcoming sets. That's so true. And see, now that it's all running somewhat smoothly, I don't have to think about it anymore. So we're all, we're all, we're all set. Exactly. We're all set to head into uh, Cherry Luca versus Random 7 Flame for Losers R1. Now, this is kind of tragic because these two have played so goddamn many sets it's kind of unthinkable. I mean, uh, Random Seven Flame keeps like a very extensive uh, replay history with whoever he plays, and I think Cherry and Random have something on the order of like three thousand replays that they've played over the years. I'm not surprised. You're good to go, by the way. Um, yeah, they, they were just kind of warming up while us commentators <laughs> were getting ready. We uh, took a little bit of time, so. Um, actually, I should update the, the name of the stream as yeah, well. Yeah, we're it's done with pools. pools. It's BAM 12 Top 12. Pools was exciting, but now it's time for the real game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we did have some pretty cool sets in uh, in the pools. I mean, you yourself beat Australia's best crag. I'm feeling very good about that. Oh, yeah, I bet. Uh, I, I, after, that, after that came off, it was... Uh, Finishing up, very happy with how I oh did. Oh yeah, I mean, dude, I popped off on stream as uh, anybody who watched earlier on will attest to. And I think it was just overall hype. SSC just wasn't ready for uh, those bashes, but... Very happy mm. with them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, let's let's talk about the set that's currently playing on with uh, Cherry Luca versus Random 7 Flame. Um, yeah. Ooh. Orcane, Orcane back air is pretty, pretty decent. Oh yeah, just a little bit. It can definitely be hard to contest with. And That's a nice Ooh. freeze, though. With a good F smash following up. Does miss the icicles, however. But catches with the jab. See, something like this might also might almost feel just like they're playing another friendly session because of how often they uh, they verse each other. Mm. But, I mean, now they've got to be serious. They've got to be trying to play to win. And I think Random might just have a little bit of an edge over this. I mean, this matchup seems <laughs> like it wouldn't be easy for Edelus. Because mm. you've got so I many mean, bubbles to deal with. I, I would honestly say the other, because you've just got so much movement options to get around bubbles. and You can edge guard Orcane pretty well, I would think. Oh, but the movement requires having access to the full stage. With That's bubbles true. getting in the way, that can interrupt your flow and have and provide opportunities for the Orcane to get in. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure how this matchup goes, but R7 just covering the high, high recovery so well with the up air. Ooh. Well, good reversal by Cherry. Goes for the down B. Does not catch him, unfortunately. Love to see the Donda, but unfortunately it was just not the right call there. Ooh. Just missing the up smash from the jab. From the jab check. And Cherry's just on the opposite end of the blender that he wants to be in. Now, Edelus is very heavy, so if he can... Really? Wow. Well, I know. It's crazy to think about. As I a, had the no big idea. fat polar bear. But if he does manage to oh keep... Oh, my goodness. Oh. Dude, how did he have such precise spacing? Damn. That's yeah. good for sure. Random though. seven flame is definitely one of the one of those sick players you love to see. See, I, I'm you know, this isn't pro this probably isn't as bad for Cherry as it looks like, because Atlas will not die from just some random old moves, and it, with that stage control, well, with that stage control he had, it's probably pretty good for him to move around Orcane. He's building damage pretty quickly. Yes. Which is good to see. Oh, what a. Oh! It looks like Cherry was just trying to like um, bait out some sort <coughs> of uh, attack, and Random just didn't budge. Very, very unfortunate. Um, will VODs be uploaded to the Ozroa channel? Question mark. Uh, I hope so. Hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're not my job. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's my job. So come uh, on, Elsa. <laughs> Keep it it's going. Just, uh, it's just a bit of effort. So. We'll, uh, we'll see. Now, I like this stage for Edelus. I think it's 
I would imagine that R7 would have banned uh, FD um, Spirit Tree, although I did miss the ban, so I'm not 100% yeah, sure. Yeah, we're too busy answering questions from the viewers. So. Um, but I do like this stage, just spreading the ice across two platforms makes it really nice for Edelus to just move around really easily and really take advantage of the fact that Orcane just doesn't move Ooh. that fast. But a nice up smash will just completely send it through. You've forgotten to update the score. Oh, of course, every time, yeah. Can't you, like, press F2 or something? I probably could, but I didn't even think about doing it, so... Well, now you can. Um, there you go. <laughs> unfortunate Miss Parry on the Icicles will give Cherry some advantage, but Cherry, on the other hand, does miss the slide off with those Icicles. It's something that I actually love watching Cherry do, where he'll go for Icicles that generally would be deemed incredibly unsafe, and he'll instead just... Compl just slide off, and all of a sudden, you've overshot, and he's back on you. And he's got ice around. Yeah, it's kind of scary when you're versing um, Luca like that. You gotta, uh... Oh, good up air. Will just take the stock there. And this is a significantly smaller hurdle. Oh! Oh, he does make it back. Does not get the tech, though. Well yeah, done by that was a That was a very bad situation for Cherry to be in right there. So low down... <laughs> and not a lot you could do otherwise. I mean, you could could have tried drifting out a little bit, but you still probably would have been caught by that down smash. Mm, unfortunate mispunish on the ice. Looks like he wanted to get some more stage control that he just gave up, which I don't hate, uh, but unfortunately didn't drift far enough for the F-Tilt. Cherry just isn't getting a lot with these donders, unfortunately. It mm. seems like he goes for them and then random punishes the uh, the lag with it. So... Yeah, the down B is very... It's, it can be very punishing if you get if you freeze them, and it does just have a lot of. Oh, there like we go! That the Donda finally works out for Cherry. Lichko would be so proud right now. I don't know when we started calling it the Donda. Uh, well, that was pretty much when Lichko. Oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> that would have been a dirt. Oh, oh, that would have been a dirty a hammer. hammer. And oh no! Unfortunately, gets parried right away. Loses the armor, but he still seems okay. This is still anyone's game if Cherry doesn't die here, of course. I would I would say it's very much in Randon's favor right now. Like, that's a very dangerous percent to be at without armor. Mm. Especially with Orcane's up air and down oh, smash. and They're down just, smash. Yeah. So... Gonna completely they, they set it. They out so quickly. And uh, it's hard to contest. But maybe Cherry Luca will adapt. Maybe he's got something else in his bag. So it seems that the bands from... R7 are actually not FD. I'm oh, surprised. Back here again, I guess. I don't hate it. I mean, it does give uh, it does give Cherry more room to kind of slip and slide around on top. And it's just like a big old platform to move around on. Which he was using um, to try and get around some of random Seven Flames uh, attacks. Yeah, I mean, it, it just shows that he's confident that it's just him that's playing slightly worse. He just needs to play a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, very confident in the stage pick, which is good. Confidence is very good. I'm liking these um, fair, these um, armored fairs to get past the bubbles. Oh. But, oh, that's another stock. That's so tragic. Random's got so much momentum here. It's going to be really hard for... Oh, for oh no. Oh, it does make it back. Good and the Donda. It really is the Donda today. <laughs> the Donda, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'd love to see it. What does it even mean? Where does it come from? Uh, well, I mean, I've tried asking Lichko about what Charles oh, means. Oh, 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 that's such good coverage from the F-Smash there. Does just take it. Good jab will actually just interrupt R7 right there. And I mean, Edelus is heavy, so this these small hits don't matter as much as they would for other characters. It's definitely something you want to avoid, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Good up tilt will catch R7. With a nice combo getting 40%. Oh, nice F tilt. Stuffs out the, F, uh, the side B. And oh, uh, that was a questionable B. Donda. Jeez Louise. You don't want to be doing it so close when you're versing someone like Orkane who has such incredible disjoint. Oh, that back air just missing. Oh, oh my armor. goodness. Can't believe we got that armor. Oh, oh. Nice parry. Drifts low. Okay, Does good get tech, the good tech. tech. All right. 
Okay, Ooh. nice, nice. Excellent wait there. Oh. But so unfortunate oh. to miss that. And in the background, we see Cherry make a little bit of a face. Shaking his head a little yeah. bit. This is still very doable. If he if he can pull this out, if he can pull out a stock. Again, oh. Ellis Oh! Just he not really went long for enough. It. And he does make it back, but he's a full stock down. So he really has to pull something oh out. That my down God. smash was so greedy. <laughs> but that Dacus will take it. Yeah, uh, it's still not looking very good. That armor will keep him alive for a little bit longer. Oh, whoa. Oh, good that up be out of it. That felt so custom. I don't think I've uh, seen Edelus do that. Good movement, actually. And he's getting, he's building damage. Okay, all right, all right. 50 he's still in. Just, oh. Oh, good parry. Oh, oh. okay, nice. God, imagine if he wins this. That is going to be so high. Good, good parry. parry. Oh, oh. The doesn't quite kill just yet. Okay. Gets armor it's again, though. Oh, oh, oh no, he's just wasted right armor. Away. That's not good. Random set flame is panicking. Oh, oh, oh my no. god. That's. Oh, oh, we've got a bit of spaghetti going on. R7 is <laughs> now in his kill. Okay. No. Uh, That's that does so it. GG's. Well played to Random 7 Flame. Will oh, take it boy. over his friend Cherry. In a very unfortunate. Seating in a very unfortunate seating catastrophe. I know, like these Seriously. two people, training partners, and yet they only one of them gets to keep going. Who is Seriously, the TO? Who's the TO that would let this happen? I reckon. God damn. Come on. What's 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 with this production quality? What's with this tournament quality? I mean, <laughs> the production quality is excellent. <laughs> this I was gonna say, okay, let's calm down. I think the production quality. No, is the all production right. is excellent. <laughs> Oh man. So uh <coughs> That's random seven flame and cherry. Who have we got up now? I believe we will have SNC and Lichgo. Oh wait, Lichgo Maybe might not be Lich going Go. last. So, so it should be Conga Heli and Frost. Conga Heli and Frost and Pyro. I did see Conga Heli in his Lucky Chloe outfit. I know. That it's was uh, pretty cool. It's a very nice outfit. He really um pads it out quite well as yeah, well. Yeah, no, you know, he I remember him asking me if uh I was actually gonna do a cosplay for Bam, and now okay. I feel bad. Because he's, he's gone, put in all the effort, gotten this... Yeah, you could have, like, you could have gone as Catboy, right? I could have gone as Bridget. Who is, who's Bridget? He's, uh, from Guilty Gear. Oh, uh, okay. He's a character I play in Guilty Gear. Very, very, very strong, very, very manly woman, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Ah... Uh. I see. Mm. Fair enough. See, I ne next. That seems like would take a little bit of effort to get going. Yeah, yeah that, that that was one of the reasons why I was why I ended up going. Oh, I don't know if I really want to put in that much effort for a for a cosplay. But we will have Red Chains and Barney up. <coughs> Two interstate players, one from New South Wales, one from WA. Indeed. Uh, give me one moment, just setting up the players. <coughs> okay, looks like this is all set up, ready to go. Barney and Red Chains. Oh, the score is incorrect. Unfortunately, Red Chains has already won the set. <laughs> GG's to Red Chains. Well done, Red Chains. Winning Close by set. default. Yep. Oh. All right, you guys are going to go. Yep, you can start whenever... Um. Now, Crag Maple. Yeah, you have a. Lo I assume you have a lot of experience with um, this. Yeah, you 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 could say that. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, I find that like there's two kinds of crags that I deal with. Ones that I can bully off stage, and the ones that I can't. Mm. Um, because if I can run off when the crags use pillar off stage and just use dare into a fair or something like that. <laughs> then they just crumble under the pressure mm. and the stocks just go. Meanwhile, if they can actually deal with that pressure... Um, oh, we do have Conga in the back there. Oh my god, In his Conga cosplay. Helly. Look at that. Oh, dude. And off he goes, only providing a sneak peek to the audience. If only you were here and could see him yourself. Yes. I mean... I love his boy cap, by the way. <laughs> just to signify... Yes. Alright, we're going in-game. 
to JV. Fancy JV. Singing Palm up on the stage. Casino in the background. This is this is the stage. Now, how does this how do you think this matchup goes? Aside uh, from well, you know, pulling off stage. It's really a matter of um, if the maple lets the crag kinda control the game, right? Ideally you wanna be having the crag be on kinda like the, the defensive. Like you can't approach too quickly against the crag, but you got to not give them too much room because once they get rock, it's much harder to deal with because there's so many different mind games or whatever to, to deal with. And you have to really, really push them off stage and really apply pressure. Um, mm. Oh my oh, god, oh smash. my god! Oh, <laughs> he gets no. the kill! What was that? Oh my god. Oh, you hate to see it. <coughs> Apologies, uh. I'm just recovering from a flu. Uh... Still got a bit of a cough and a sniffle. But um, luckily, it is not COVID. It is not COVID. Yes. I have taken two tests, as well as the fact that I haven't seen anyone in like a week. Understandable. Is that like your usual thing, or? What, when I'm sick? Well, no, no, I just mean in general. Do you like spend weeks in a, at a time inside your bedroom? No, no, I, I go insane. I was not feeling happy. Understandable. I'm very happy to be here after spending like... Oh, that was a... Oh, uh, that F smash. That was a real cheeky F smash. Now, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Red... Yeah, like you see there, he knows to crouch against the down air. He's, he's only been... He's one of the newest players, actually. He's only been around for maybe like eight months. Uh, very, he's yeah. very good at what he does. Although, I will say, I'm a bit interested... Ooh, good ups, uh, up air. I'm very interested in the lack of parrying Lily. Oh, like right there? <laughs> my, bad. my bad. My bad. Yeah, I think he actually does know how to parry uh, Lily. Although I'm, I mean, it could even be to bait Barney into jumping onto him, yeah. or to, or maybe some mind games for later. I wouldn't be surprised. Red is, he really knows what he's doing. Like he, he's just pre crouching. Oh no! Wow. Yeah, you got to be more proactive, I'd say. Um, because one of the things I do is like when I verse a crag for the first time, I will just go ham mm. off stage. Just to kind of make them fear what I can do. And um, that way, I give them less room to try and adapt and, and all that sort of mm, stuff. Completely understandable. She's making I mean, it really scary. Barney is trying to do um, a good job of just kind of waiting for what Red Chains does. But he's still getting punished for, with like fair Ooh, and whatever. Oh, yeah. And poor DI on that fair will take it. Moving on to game number two. Let's see if Barney will be able to recover and adapt. I mean, it was it was looking pretty close. I think just a couple of mistakes from Barney really tipped it in uh, Red Chains. Yeah, I, I find that um, Barney just wasn't able to capitalize when Red Chains went off stage. If he could get more consistent kills um, and get more consistent edge guards, he'd be able to push him a lot further. Uh, yeah, I mean, then again, Red was not parrying Lily when he showed that he could. So yeah. it, there is a very high chance that he's got some stuff planned, stuff prepared as well. Good nares, actually, will build some... I love the cheeky nares um, on Crag. It's one of the things that new players don't really think about too much, using um, Nair as Crag, because you've got so many other busted things. But once you uh, start digging deeper, Nair is just crazy. Um, Nair is an insane move on a bad character like oh that. look at that move oh, oh my, my god god he holds that <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh what a madman who just holds f smash in neutral this really is he, he really does just take inspiration from zb oh well done by barney to get some a lot of extra damage on yeah see like right there barney did basically nothing he just let uh, red chains back on for free which is not what you want to do it's like if you get crag off stage you've got to keep pushing yeah, yeah, you don't Keep want to pressure. let him get comfortable. I mean, I think that if you let, if you give Crags the space to pull rock, it's, yeah. you know, very, it, it's... It's bad. Not as much of disadvantage as you might think, because rock just gives him so many options. Good bait. Nice. Oh, tech. text off the rock. Good, Good parry, parry, but Red Chains was fully expecting it. F smash will not take it. And there he goes again, not parrying Lily. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't parry Lily there. I would have definitely gone for it. I mean, it just gives you free... Uh, yeah, and invincibility. 
Also, you saw right there, it just got in his way and he couldn't follow up. Yeah. So, like... So maybe he's not confident in it. It's possible, yeah. Andy. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Barney, I mean, Barney needs to find something soon. Crag at 130. Oh, that's painful. Yeah, not looking too good, but I mean, oh, oh, jeez. Doing up these in new top, and a raw up air gets the kill. Okay, we take those. <laughs> Okay, Barney trying to make Good it back. I mean, it's a nice recovery. I think Barney's doing very well in that. Uh, Good parry, though. And charging the F-Smash will not quite take... Oh, I love that down air. God, Red Chains is just going for these stray smash attacks. And it's... uh, They're so bad that they almost work. You know? It's crazy. Have you ever seen ZB? Yes. Yeah, that, that guy man. is an enigma. I, like, how the hell does he get away with some of the stuff that he does? It's crazy. Yeah, I, I, he really needs to. Red really needs to start pairing Lily. Oh, unfortunate DI there. Barney not doing too well, unfortunately. But we do have a game left. Barney just needs to kind of uh, think Reset and try and himself. adapt. And yeah. Just take a breath. Don't go into it tilted because that's a surefire way to lose. Absolutely. Yeah, you do not want to be. Thinking that you're not that that's that there's no way of winning this. You want to be, whoa, whoa. What is this? A mollo from is, Barney. I mean, we don't have mollos in Australia. Yeah, we barely have any poms in Australia. We have one. That's enough. <laughs> oh, if there were more, you might uh, consider retiring from the scene. Oh, maybe. Fuck pom. <laughs> oh, we've got some pom haters here. Don't worry. Uh, I am a audience. big Pom hater. Now... Oh, actually, you know, we do have two Poms. Because Ludo. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Anyway, on to this game. You know, I, I've i heard a lot of people say that this is Craig's favor. But I really don't see it. Well, frankly, I just don't know enough about Molo to <laughs> even uh, talk about that point. That's true. I mean, from what I've heard, you can't really throw grenades... Uh, at Crag because Crag returns them so easily. Yep. Oh, I like oh. that near. I mean, Red Chain's doing not... such a good job of keeping Barney off stage right now, just using Rock and Nair and all this good, oh. solid, fundamental stuff. This is the sort of stuff you might see from like S and C. So I love to see it. There goes the flashbang. Yeah. No, I'm. I mean, this is something that Red Chain's does not know how to deal with. Uh, his, his only his only matchup practice will be secondaries. Yep. Uh, m some more joke than others, including mine. Um, oh, Ooh. did you see the raster plush? No, I did not. On the bottom. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> um. We've got to sit here to commentate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no. Uh, Maybe this wasn't the right <laughs> pick. <coughs> I respect swapping to try. Uh, unfortunately, that grenade does not go off stage. Uh, so it does not actually uh, stutter up red on the, um, what do you call it, on the pillar. Good up smash will take it. And he's setting grenades around. Uh, definitely trying to get, uh, see what red will do about that. And I mean, he's just missing the, co he's just missing the combos, uh, unfortunately. It's a good link into the firecracker. But it's a lot to make up. I mean, I'd love to see it. I think we all would love to see like a, a reversal. That would be incredibly hype, but oh, oh, good di into the nade to save himself. Actually, yeah, Red Chains was definitely trying to follow up there with the up air. I don't know. I, I would be surprised if he didn't even expect that to happen. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. Good. I mean, that's a nice. Oh, oh, oh! I Kinda really like dangerous that. Dangerous there. I like this flare gun as well. Just zoning oh. out. Oh. Texture. Barney doing a good job of uh, keeping oh, Red Chains oh, out, but Red Chains manages Red Chains to get that F smash. F smash. GG's. 3 0 Red Chains way. Very well done. Good stuff. He's going to be moving forward um, and potentially versing <laughs> Conga Heli for one of the most cursed matches uh, that we've witnessed. I don't know uh, how that'll work with two keyboard players. Sorry, on the same I setup. <laughs> I noticed a raster plush. Is it, is it showing <laughs> through? And my attention just completely—it was gone. Yeah, it was gone after that. Yeah. Well, 
Do you even remember anything that happened during that set? I don't remember anything <laughs> from, like, when I noticed the raster plush until, like, the end of the second stock. Yep. That's all a blur to me. Fair enough. Now, I am ready to see Frost and Pyro versus Konga. Konga has really big muscles from working at a farm. So I think Dude, this he's got outfit, humongous muscles. I think this outfit suits him perfectly. I agree. <laughs> Look at him. Look <laughs> at those muscles. Well, I mean, the stream can't see him right now. What? How can you deny them this <laughs> They're going to have to wait until I, uh, I finish up. What do you mean if Congo wins? Huh? Oh, shit. Yeah, we, we were literally just talking about this like 30 seconds were ago. Were we? Yeah, I was saying like it's going to be so cursed if we have red chains oh, in Congo. Oh, no. Um, uh, well, let me, <laughs> let me think on it because I have no clue I'm going to deal with the situation. Well, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah. Let, we'll just hope Frost wins so I don't have to deal with that nightmare. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look. You'll be like the last of the those player cam. Anyways. Yeah, well, yeah, you're, you'll be at the end anyways, so I don't know. I think that that's quite an authentic cosplay myself. No, really Come back to me on that. Yeah, yeah. I'll think I'll on it. Also yeah, yeah. Yeah, now that outfit is superb. Oh, like it's even the wig as well. You know, he's gone all out. You know, I really I really hope that I don't have to play Conga because I'm going to sit next <laughs> to him and I'm just going to feel shame. Yeah, that you I think didn't that uh, that Rasta thing distracts you. If you have to verse Conga, you're just going to be looking at how him am the I gonna, time. How am I going to stay focused when such an attractive young man <laughs> is next to me? I reckon, yeah. Oh, boy. But, I mean, to balance things out, he is a keyboard player. So, you've got the attractive side and the completely unattractive side. That's true. I hate keyboard players. Precisely. Is Kung Fu? Okay, no, he's playing Eliana. Now, I think Shovel Knight is a much better pick into this matchup. Yeah, I mean, Eliana just seems like a, a poor pick. I mean, when Shovel Knight just has an easier time against Maple, but... Well, I, I think, think Eliana-Maple is the worst matchup in the game. I, I would say some would contest that. I mean, Lichko's not a big fan of uh, Edeless Maple. But, but Lichko doesn't play Eliana. Well, this is true. But Conga doesn't play uh, Edelus. Okay. Yeah. So. I think it's that like that. We've got some people in chat saying you could rock that outfit. Not oh, gonna lie. I could so rock that outfit. I would look amazing. We've got people in chat saying that Conga does play Edelus. Well, well I... that's true. That's true. <laughs> okay. I had no idea. But... We are going into game one. Let's see what... Frost and Pyro versus Conga and Heli. Well, yes. Heli right now. Maybe we'll see Conga later. Good edge guarding, actually. Oh, Already, no. Oh. Right off the bat. Oh, oh no. 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 Oh, jeez, Louise. <coughs> that's okay, not that's... okay. Yeah, that was some really poor TI. That's not a great start to a match. Hopefully, Frost uh, isn't getting too hard inside his head. Um, good parry there on the missile will give him a little bit of advantage, but just getting shot up right out. Oh, and that that missile set. Oh my oh, god! No. Oh. oh, is he dead anyway? Jesus! Holy hell! Okay, Kong is just popping off right now. I mean, we were saying that this is the worst matchup in the game, but like, what is going on here? Kong is really showing that uh, Maple Edelus is way worse. <laughs> Evidently, yeah. Feels like once Conga gets any sort of opening, he just pushes it and pushes it and, and gets oh, a kill. Oh, I was so worried that was the game right there. Oh, nice air dodge. Good maneuvering from Frost will get him around. Although, oh, good, good tech. tech and does make it back with the tether. Good parry there as well. Maybe this. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, jeez. That's, that's a painful beginning to the set. Have a feeling that Conga is not going to be switching to Shovel Knight. Um, that's wow. So, uh, do you want to explain who 
Kungu is cosplaying right now for the stream. Uh, I've heard it is Lucky Chloe from Tekken. Wow. His his eternal main in Tekken. I, I don't know how much more of a fan <laughs> of Lucky <laughs> Chloe he is. Right, okay. Or if it's just like, you know, something that he just... Like maybe he just enjoys playing the character. Maybe, maybe it's really may fun. Maybe. Yeah. You know, how I enjoy playing Bridget, you know, I would consider <laughs> maybe bringing cosplay, but... Uh-huh. Maybe but next spam. Me next spam, next spam. Yeah. Or maybe for 20 subs to uh, twitch.tv slash rendered spy. So true. Regardless, Frost and Pyro already off to a pretty bad start, actually. Uh, Congo just maneuvering around. Oh, his, oh my oh, goodness, he's just dead. No, oh, don't oh, stop playing Snake. Snake. <laughs> Yeah, Frost is not having a great time right now. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't know this matchup very well. Like, even though it's pretty good for Maple. I mean, Conga would be his only practice, so. Yeah, the problem is, Frost is just not getting that much from uh, any of his punishes, whereas Conga is just destroying Sorry, Frost right now. Maybe later. Uh, yeah, no, this is, these missiles and these, oh, Ooh, that up smash catching the Love dummy. the conversion, Snake oh again! Oh my god! He's trying to get inside Frost's head right now. Convince him that this is not even worth his time. He'd rather be playing Snake. Oh, oh good down wow. air actually will stun him out of the up tilt. Okay, good With fair. Nice good fair. fair. Oh, unfortunate. But yeah, we'll solid fair. Wow. Anyways. A little bit risky there, but uh, manages to pay off and get the I, stock. I mean, if you're this far behind, you've got to be going for some risky things. Yeah, you really do. Just that steam coverage. Frost also needs to learn how to parry steam and just... Not let Conga control so much of the space with it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, those fists okay. does not actually get it. And oh, it does not get the full up air. And now he's getting up aired. The down B does stall him long enough to get a hit in, but just gets sent right back off again. This is not looking very good for our pal Frost and Pyro. Oh, oh my god! Snake. What is he oh. doing? This guy's a madman. Oh, that back air. Goodness gracious. <coughs> Conga playing two games at the same time. <laughs> I reckon. He's just oh, we have T. Richard in the chat right now. The oh. uh, gentleman from Maycord. Big fan of T. Richard. Massive respect for T. Richard right now. Um, unfortunately, this is not the... Uh, the pinnacle of Maple Gaming that we're seeing right now against Conga, but we are seeing the pinnacle of cosplay with that Conga. That is very true. See, seeing Conga go on more sets because of, with the cosplay would be great. But also, I'm gonna have to schedule two keyboard players to play each other if he wins. <laughs> oh my god! So I know I'm not supposed <laughs> to have a bias, but I am really rooting for Frost here to save myself the headache. Yes. Now. I like this stage for uh, Maple because it gives you. I think it gives you a lot of room to move around. You've got good options with Platrop there, and Eliana can't really get away from you. I mean, you say that, but I'm just not that big of a fan of the stage myself. I mean, however, mm. I'm a Pom gamer, so what would I know? That's true. Disgusting Pom players. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's disgusting. I, I mean, would I'd say, say it's keyboard disgusting. players are pretty disgusting. That's, I feel that's like true. Pom players, you know, they're several layers above keyboard players. <laughs> Like, if anything, they're, they're above, like, oh. good players. Yeah, this DI from Frost is also really costing him a lot of it. Because he just, he gets yeah. caught out with a move, and he just goes flying. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, it feels like it's just happening every single game. He's losing at least a stock to bad DI. Oh, just doesn't get the, um... Oh, what oh is this? Oh, my God. Jeez. I like the fair attempt, but... Oh! Oh! No, no tech! Oh, oh god, you've got to feel sorry. I don't even think you could have made it back from that anyways, Frost. That's just BM at this point. Yeah. Even more than playing Snake instead of oh, playing oh. I mean, he's moving well. Frost yeah. is really moving well and taking advantage of these platforms. But the problem is, he's just not doing more than that. Yeah. His punishes are off point, he's losing neutral far too often. Some good drift to get out of that missile. Oh, I like what Frost was planning on doing there. Oh, Just doesn't execute quite right. Good up smash will take a stock. That's and pretty solid. This, this could be the beginning of a comeback. If he if he keeps his nerve and pull and 
hits the right move, shapes up his play. This this could very much be be something that gets brought. brought I mean, back. that's probably a, a bit of a stretch, but I mean, you do have a little bit of a bias here. I do Whoa. have a lot of bias. Unfortunate <laughs> DI there again. Well, now it's like crap. We've got two keyboard players <laughs> into each other. I mean, good stuff to Conga. Love the cosplay. I just hate the fact that you know, two keyboard players. Yeah. Uh, Think I could bribe him to play rock paper scissors. Or something. True. I actually don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> well, I, oh. I mean, <laughs> Dylan uh, SNC was suggesting that uh, we now play online. Have like play on two separate PCs. Ooh. Have an online. <laughs> have an online set. Uh, <laughs> is there nothing else that works? Oh. Well, yeah, I I don't know. We've never actually had this happen at a local before. So now <laughs> I believe SNC is in the back freaking out, trying to figure out what's going to happen. I imagine oh. you're kind of freaking out as well. Is it? Do you know if it's possible to get them to play on the same setup? I don't know. I've never had to do this before. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we don't have to do it just yet because we do have SNC. Well, we've got Lichko a couple sets. There's SNC, Lichko, Jet Hamman, me and Osu. I can't believe SNC is in losers round one of top 12. Like, what? Oh, I know. Like, who could have taken him out so early? Some crazy upset must have happened. That's to, what I to the reckon. Former like, jeez. Top one player. SNC is no slouch. So, we must have had someone really good come on. Now, I wonder if Lichko ends up swapping to the Ori. Because I know he has a Go, pocket uh, Ori. Well, I wouldn't think so. I mean, you never know. Yeah! Oh, we've got some people popping off on our left right now. Ca uh, Counter-Strike is, is popping pretty <laughs> bad. Pretty hard. Very nice. <laughs> you know, uh, good, to see, good to see this PC uh, space next to us getting, uh, getting the excitement. Yes. I've heard, actually, from someone that uh, JKS is here. I've really? heard. I haven't, I haven't confirmed it, but that would be very Damn, cool. That would be pretty nice. I have. I do watch a bit of Counter-Strike in my spare time. Well, I imagine you watch quite a bit in your spare time. I do watch quite a bit in my spare time. Are you, like, a weeaboo? No, I... What? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, you watch a lot of content in your free time. Counter-Strike. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, you've been in your bedroom a lot for the last week. That's because I've been sick. Well, what better to do than watch, you know, anime and have a have a good time? Do you not enjoy anime? No. Well, what's the problem with anime? I don't have the attention span for it. What do you mean? These are 20 minute episodes. How can you get any less? It's a thousand what episodes. The, uh, How that's am one I? piece. One piece is different. How am I supposed to sit through that? I can't sit through a okay, 10 anyway, episode look, show. Look, we're just... I can't sit through more than like three episodes unless we're I'm doing just, washing. We're just going to... Take a look at the players. I think we're just going to have to agree to disagree here. I think some of us here have bad opinions, but that's you watch just me. Anime. Your opinion doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't watch a lot of anime. I, you know, I've watched a couple anime. I think some of them are, are quite nice. Um, hey, T. Richard is a Pom player. He's cool. I'm so sorry, Richard. I hope you get better. <laughs> oh, wait, no. If, if T. Richard is a Pom player, he's going to judge my Pom. Good. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. If anyone wants to give me tips after I lose to Osu, uh, it would be much appreciated. That's... Wh what? I don't, I, 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 I'm, Where's I, the self-respect? You shouldn't just say that you're going to lose to Osu. I'm supposed to say that you're going to lose oh, to Osu, sorry. and then you're meant to fight back. Sorry, and say, sorry. Someone give Osu some <laughs> tips. <laughs> when, when Rendered Spy, the greatest Ori player of all time, does the Okay, amazing now listen, upset. I think that's a little bit too far. Well, um, first it wasn't far enough, and now it's too far. Where do you draw the... <laughs> what is see, this? I feel like you're just missing a lot of the nuance of all of this. Am I? I think you are, yes. But anyway, we're going into the stage <laughs> bands right now. They're turning back the uh, the skins. <coughs> they don't want to deal with any of the stage skins, which I think is a little bit lame, but whatever. And we're going into game one with Lichko versus SNC. Now, Craig Edelis. I've heard that this is pretty volatile, which, well, to be fair, a lot of Edelus' matchups are. But Craig just edge guards Edelus so easily. Uh, but Edelus really just does the same. And then both of them kind of. They both have to be very 
careful in neutral. It's very awkward to play between them. Um, Lichko already getting sent off stage. SNC playing with the IDK tag and skin. Big fan Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't even notice he picked that skin. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of strange oh. that he's uh, getting that New Zealand representation. Like, where's the Australian love and pride? I thought we I hated mean, New Zealand. Exactly. I've done my part to get New Zealand out of the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and other play. Oh, no. See, this is what I mean. New Zealand players are just so whack. W what was that? I Who knows? I, I think you, I, I would <laughs> guess that he was going for something pretty risky when uh, SNC was oh, on, yeah. on the pillar. And unfortunately, didn't work out. Good down B from uh, SNC catching the... Uh, down B from, yep. from the Edelers. Unfortunately, Fair will take it, uh, give it, giving it two stocks to one. But Lichko has a lot of ground to make up. Oh, Lichko now, getting a nice, a nice punish coming. Oh, unfortunately gets parried mid combo. That down B. That would have been so cool. Oh, yeah, sure would have. Getting the rock out. Oh. That's a very hey, unfortunate Okay. Person. Um... I mean, Lichko was saying he was going to make that's waves, Lichko. but uh, that's oh, that's Lichko. That is not the person who won. If only we had a better stream runner here. Yeah, seriously. Uh, yeah, dude, I reckon. Just as bad as the TO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the TO is... Uh, <coughs> oh, oh, this TO. Okay. Yeah, taking, taking, taking it off cool Jules Vale, going to bad Jules Vale. I reckon. I much prefer the cooler Jules Vale. I mean, I don't really enjoy Jules Vale anyway. Maybe it's distracting. I might get distracted if I'm playing on New Jersey Vale. <laughs> I know Ooh. if I saw that Raster Plush in my set, it would be over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even notice it. Meanwhile, your entire medal just goes. It's just I directly like, would have paused the game and asked you to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> the both of us would no longer be playing rivals. We're just looking at this Raster Plush. I'll take the stock deficit. Yeah. This is more important. Um, now... Let's go in SNC trading blows, but it's definitely Ooh. going in SNC's favor. Damn, look at that patience. Does get the follow up, and pulling it back to an even game, keeping the crag off. Now let's go. Should be a little bit mindful of how he approaches uh, edge guarding because that's how he lost a lot of his stocks last game, just through SDs attempting to edge guard. Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if he plays a lot more careful now. Yeah, and see, managing to get back, he's got his pillar. Oh, it does not commit. Oh, the, the nice cheeky uh, side beam to rock. It's uh, very cool to see. Not a lot of crags pull that out. But then again, not a lot of... Oh, my goodness. That's very nice from Lichko. Taking the first stop. Yeah, that there. was a great connection right there. Oh, 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 tries to go for the F smash. Doesn't quite hit it. Just not enough range. Good movement, but uh, actually will survive. I mean, it enough. is Edelus. He's that, quite a heavy boy. That's true. Craig. Oh, jeez. I would have oh, gone for an up air there well. or something. That one he didn't survive. Oh. Um, but it's still an even game, which is good Good to see from Lichko. Uh, really bringing it back after those two unfortunate SDs. Yeah, it's good to see he hasn't um, SD'd his stock just yet. Oh, I like that down B. Throwing the rock shards at a very difficult angle. Well, that's what you come to expect from someone like SNC. The master of crag tech. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love nice, that. Nice, nice, let's go. Oh, that's oh that was so cheeky. Nice. See, I'm, that seems like what Lichko was trying to go for in the last game, but, you know, just flubbed a whole bunch of inputs. Mm. So, looks like he's still trying to apply pressure, but he's just... Oh, my God, look at that. That's Coming down, fading out of parry. Oh, Whoa! We see a pop-up from Lichko right now. <laughs> Shouting, let's go. He's feeling himself now. <laughs> Oh boy! Shout outs, shout outs to Dusk, by the way. Uh, Lichko's esport organization. We have some comments in chat saying SNC washed? Question mark. Jet shaking his head in the back. Lol. All right. It's fine. Jet's getting upset by him, man. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. Uh, let's <coughs> update the scores. There we go. Nice open stage for SNC to just to try and take back some control. That uh, Jules Vale is definitely a harder pick for Crag, just with all the um, open space without any platforms. Mm. But now with these platforms all throughout the stage and more space to work around with, SNC is probably going to be able to play more neutral and play more rock. 
Uh, yeah, he's got a lot more platforms to hide on uh, against Nautilus, which is always very powerful. Exactly, yeah. Uh, let's go catching that roll in. Will get a little bit of damage on, continuing the damage, actually. But SMC go drifts out, gets with a fair, uh, throws out a fair. Oh! I'm surprised that up tilt didn't send the rock shards upwards. I think, Maybe. He forgot, I think he forgot to pivot. Or screwed up the pivot. Input. Yeah. I, that's what I would imagine. Yeah, mucked up the inputs there. Um, but he's getting a lot of damage going. Uh, on Lich on Lichko. Uh, now upwards of 150. Nice. And up there will take it. See, these are the platforms coming in to assist with SNC. I mean, Lichko was chilling on the upper platform and uh, SNC just took advantage of that. Those icicles. Oh, good pillar. Uh, good up B will actually just avoid the stuff from Lichko. That pillar throwing Lichko into a very uncomfortable position and he's building damage so quickly. Oh, that look at this. In. Wow. Parrying that jab, I did not expect that. Oh, well done by SNC just to get s more damage on with this rock. And he's a full snock up right now, which is very bad for Lichko. Good oh break Oh my cancel. goodness! With the Nair, throws it directly up. Those icicles do interrupt his uh, rock breaking shenanigans, but Lichko is not oh able my to God. that down air almost. The Donda coming out! Unfortunately, it's getting punished and SNC is now two stocks up. In case anyone oh. in the chat is wondering what a Donder is, it's a term uh, conceived by of by Lichko, the player witnessing right now, for when Edelis goes for a down B in the air. Uh, and that's <laughs> that's about it. But uh, the idea is you get hype whenever the Donder happens. Yeah, I mean, I see enough from Cherry. I'm <laughs> sick of getting hit by that move. Oh, oh no! Let's go. Let's go. Icicles are just getting parried at this point. Like I, he's just he's just unable to kill SNC. SNC at two hundred percent while he's on a hundred on his last stock. Yeah, this plat, uh, this stage pick was a great choice from. Uh, from I SNC. love those mind Oh with the my rock. god, the crouch to avoid the icicles. And he will just take it with a fair. And that game was a lot more dominant. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, game one was a little bit shaky, but now SNC is really starting to get back into the swing of things. He's really feeling it, and now that there's no JV from Lichko, this might be a little bit. This might be a little bit scary. Yeah, Lichko definitely has to make some things happen to to get back. I mean, this is <laughs> losers as well. If Lichko loses this, that's that's it. He's, He's out of the bracket. He's all the way from NZ just to get SNC and losers. I that's know. That's a very unfortunate that's timeline. I mean, it sucks, but I mean, sometimes you just got to lose to SNC. It's uh, it's always the experience, at least. I'm sure you have a lot of experience. Oh, I've got incredible amounts of experience losing to SNC. Yeah, like. but over the years. <laughs> oh my god, those break cancels! I love watching them. They look so cool. It was I good to see earlier in the bracket as well with uh, Handman making great use of those uh, break cancels. I it's wish just I such a versatile some. move. I really wish I caught some of those games. I was so busy just. Oh yeah, yeah. No, you were like. Freaking out! I'm always freaking out. Are you freaking out right now? No, because now but, it's well, like that's just a blatantly false statement that oh, you just said there. Sorry, I'm always freaking out for the first like two hours of a tournament. Okay, there we go. At least now you're being more specific. Once I remember, I can delegate tasks. It's a lot better. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to do everything by yourself. Oh my god! Oh my! Oh, he gets it anyway. What? Can't go for oh that my! I never would have gotten that parry. Like, Oh, jeez. Oh, that sh it's just so much damage that's getting pounded on. That down smash catches it, uh, catches Lichko, sending him up. He gets, he gets, he's getting around, and he's definitely layering damage on SSC, but he's going down. Whoa. Those rock shards do miss. Oh, okay. good oh, nice wait. Wait. Wow. And a good turnaround will let the fair go. Okay, Lichko trying to get something going here. Oh, the Dacus doesn't connect. That's so sad. Oh, not, not again. again! Oh, SNC knows the DI. I don't think it's gonna work. I got to say, SNC is making great use of just kind of hiding under these platforms to avoid getting hit by the icicles and still being able to do stuff while not being locked in like uh, I mean, this, ga this game is really just showing uh, why SNC was one of the best players. Like he, he's, he's ad his adaptation is just so good. Absolutely, yeah, I agree. Not pillaring at the wall intentionally to parry. Oh no! Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, that up Whoa. there. Oh. Okay, Lichko is not out just yet. <coughs> He's still wanting to play some video games. 
SMC going with the uh, Nairs, though. And Lichko's going to find it tough to recover, uh -oh. especially with this no This is air bad. Now. It's not good. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, he makes oh, it back. Makes it. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Good down air from SNC, throwing the shards. And that up smash. GG. Rob up smash will take it. That will be the set. Oh, poor Lichko. Unfortunate Lich from the, Lichko. At least there were some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool moments in there. Very entertaining set. Very good to watch. We do see a smile on SNC's face right now. Not that the uh, audience can see, but I mean, we can see it. Maybe uh, the he's audience real proud. Have just been here. Huh? Maybe the audience should have just been at BAM. <laughs> I reckon. I mean, there are a bunch of cool people here at BAM and a bunch of cool people watch, a bunch of not cool people watching right now. Exactly. Who could be here. I, I think there's a correlation between. See, like, look. Look at all the players we have here. We have you, we have SNC, we have Jet, we have Congo. They're all very cool players. Exactly. And think of who we have on here. We have Solus, Xenix, both two very uncool players. I agree. And yes. I think there's a I think there's a relationship. <laughs> oh boy, Jet and him, man. The oh, oh, he's already no. going for it. <laughs> oh, oh, what is this? No. This is winners semis. Winners semis. <laughs> Uh, but the unfortunate thing is, you and I are going to have to hop off comms fairly shortly. Oh, that's true. Who the heck? Oh, actually, we can get Lich go on comms. That could be kind of high. That could be kind of high. I'll be very happy to get off comms, though. Well, what's the problem with comms? You've I'm been doing a, a pretty good job so far. Am I doing a pretty good job? Well, maybe you should ask the audience. Audience, well, is rendered spy... Okay, well... Yeah, yeah so look. there you go. <laughs> But that's Maybe. Ted. I don't count Ted. <laughs> Ted's from Asia. He, his region uh, sucks. Well, okay, there's no need to be like they're, they're xenophobic like are. that. They should just get better players. I am racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's gonna be great. <laughs> Someone's gonna clip that. Hello. Hello. We've, uh, we've got Let's Go here. Anything you want to tell the audience? This motherfucker, bro. This this SNC guy. Piece of shit. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Whoa. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. Whoa. No, we switched to the wrong thing. Oh god. Oh god. What are you uh, doing? Okay. 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 We fixed it. Oh, jeez. The stream runner guy doesn't yeah, know guy, what he's doing. That guy's horrible. Yeah, the stream runner is seriously. So we have Jet versus Handman. Um, Raster versus Crag. I mean, Jet was feeling quite uncomfortable, at least in the first game against Red Chains. So let's see how he adapts to a completely different crag. Yeah, I know he also really does not like this matchup. Oh, I like that break cancel. Uh, are you talking about Handman or Jet here? Uh, Jet. Jet does not like this matchup. Um, maybe from all the times he's played Ooh, with SNC. I don't oh, know what that air dodge was. Unfortunate missed wave land, or wave dash. That was probably going to be a wave dash up smash. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god, Hammond, hey chill with the up smashes. Jeez. If it hits. But I mean, uh, if it hits, it's good. But like, if it doesn't, you're just locked in place. And it's like you're kind of stuffed. Oh, and oh, oh no. Okay. No, that's unfortunate. I like that down smash right there. Because, I mean, Phil is broken. Can't come back. You're done. It's just real solid, clean. V yeah, very difficult to make it back. Especially if the rest is edge guarding well. Oh, no. Jet just kind of like throwing out these aerials, trying to land one. I think he's very confident that Handman won't be able to whip punish. Oh, yeah. Um, which, you know, he's playing Crag. Very oh, I love to see oh. Sweet Spot down here. That's like the one thing I go for whenever I play Rasta. Another up smash. Oh, that up air just missing. Probably would have killed as well. Oh, but damn. But that fair just sends him flying. Yeah, that was some unfortunate DI, but I believe Jet was trying to throw out a move. So Now... This is still relatively even. Oh, love I how love patient, that block. love how patient Jed has been, just trying to control center stage, not trying to approach too aggressively because, I mean, Craig has so many tools to deal with mm. um, silly aggression. So you have to play it smart. Yeah, be, you have to be very careful. Very. Oh, good parry, though. Good tech! Yeah, that was a little bit That's dubious a little bit, of, a, oh. of a score right there, considering how close Rock was. But, uh... Unfortunately, does not get much of a follow-up, and... Oh, that roll. Nice clap. Jet, very well done to cover that. Yeah, I love how cleanly Jet uh, can connect some of these claps together with just uh, some stray aerials. Mm. 
Now, Ooh. Jet's almost a full stock up, but he is Raster, so like this is kill percent. Absolutely, oh, yeah. I mean, he's at risk of dying it. just all the time. Like here. You think he's an advantage? No, he's dead. <laughs> that but is the beauty of that. That does rely on Hairman being able to pull off and execute. Oh, 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 good parry. Yeah, that'll take it. All right. He could have lived that, by the way. Don't know how, but he could have. There's so many situations oh. in Rivals where it's like, hey, you could have survived that, and I have no idea how. Maple Fair. Maple oh, Fair yeah. lies to me all the time. <laughs> With parry on the slipstream, actually, we'll put him in, in a very good spot for the time being. Whoa, oh, the what the heck was out of that? Nowhere. He's crazy. <laughs> Oh, we have D-Mag in the chat saying, let's go, Hamman. Hamman is a bit of a uh, fan favorite. I would be cheering for Hamman. I agree. Wait, no, hold on. We've gone to the wrong thing. Ah, what are you we need to be, we need to be here. Ah, it's this <sighs> stream manager. Okay, okay, it's fixed. It's, it's better. I think I know what I'm doing. Let's hope that the uh, next set of commentators after us also know what they're doing. Hopefully. Well, yeah, you can only hope. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. D-Mag says to fuck the bird. Oh, no. D-Mag. No, you can't be doing that. <laughs> this taunt. It's so stupid. I reckon, yeah. But also kind of kind of spicy. I don't know where they where they got that from. I don't know who was like, you know what would be really funny? We should get a T-pose. <laughs> With rivals two oh, assets. Oh, yeah. Big day for unfunny people. Well, I mean, would you say that Dan Fonesi is a completely unfunny guy? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, fair No, enough. I love Dan. Sorry, <laughs> Dan. Don't ban me from rivals, please. Ooh. You're pretty cool. Uh, Hamman's side B does end up destroying the slipstream, and he is getting a lot of damage off of it. Uh, although it is, they're both trading uh, blows and swapping advantage pretty quickly. It's interesting that Hamman went for a bit of a, a smaller stage, but I can respect the fact that perhaps he's trying to make use of that top platform to get some Ooh. easier kills. I did like seeing that. Unfortunately, the down B does not come out, and Whoa, the clap lives. will not take it. Oh, nice fair out of nowhere. Uh, down smash does not connect. Jet, unfortunately, are uh, getting out of that combo. And, I mean, it's just... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, does get it. Oh, oh hey, man, no. what are you doing? Oh, doesn't drop no. Through. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's very sad. That but probably would have been the stock as well. Yeah. So that hurts. Oh, but the fair just sends him flying. <laughs> oh my god. Hey man, this is Jet. You can't just be taunty <laughs> like that. This isn't Conga. You're not Conga. <coughs> okay, nice tech, nice. That down smash does send him flying. Uh, he but he does make it back. Handman's pretty high percent. This is getting a little bit scary while Jet is not quite at death percent. And that Nair will take, it, take him flying. Whoa, covers the pillar. He's crazy. Who goes out there and precisely aims his uh, clap just in the right location like that? Maybe the best player in Australia currently. That's that's true. But I don't know. That might just be. That's just that's just a guess. Whoa. Oh what? my god! Oh my god! What? He's so cheeky. What was that? Oh, I'd love to see it. Jet was so confident there, and then he just dies for it. That's uh, that's Raster in a nutshell, though. Oh, that downbeat stops him, jumps him up a little. Now Jet's not parrying these, but he might be saving that. I have no doubt that he can if he needs to, or if he's ready for it at the very least. A uh, good parry, actually, building some damage, and this is starting to get hey very. Man, doing a good Raster. job of keeping center stage to himself, just making use of that platform. Just get any of these cheeky little openings that he can. Oh, that F2. That's oh dead. my god. Poor okay. Guy there will just man. take it. Going. Just to advise, Tonga and Red Chains are playing online in casual mode. We play the 
In what mode? Casual mode. Okay. So they're playing right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, how are we going to stream that? Uh, we're yeah. not. <laughs> uh, do Yeah, so uh, for those who those of you who couldn't hear, um, we do have the two keyboard players, Red Chains and Conga Heli, playing right now in online mode at a local. So basically playing on Switch. Well, except well, it's less delay. Actually, yeah, you're right. I mean, Switch is just even worse. Yeah, see, they're probably playing on one frame of delay uh, yeah. instead of, like, the three extra that they would get from Switch. So... You know, I think it's a I think it's a net win for them. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, he's fine. And actually gets the back air out to contest Jet. It feels like Jet's got a bit of a flow chart going there when he tries to down smash off stage, but he can't he hasn't quite figured out how to deal with the tech um, after the down smash. Well, he's probably just expecting him and to miss it. Yep. Jet I don't I don't know how much Jet respects some of those players. I know he he uh I remember him telling me, uh, you can tell how hard he's trying uh, by the amount of times he comes up with a side B fair uh, to recover. Right. That's yeah. a very direct measurement as yeah, to that's, that's very true. how I hard mean, he's trying. It's such a pain to deal with that as well. It's like I punish him for doing that. I parry slipstream right back at him. And then like two minutes later, he'll start at it again. And it's like, dude, I'm just going to parry this again. And then he stops again. Um, Top player privilege. <laughs> and then sometimes he'll get me. Oh, no. That up B just catching him right out. Although this... Uh, this Crag is definitely getting some damage on. Raster is at kill percent if he can get an, if he can land an up tilt or something. Oh, oh no. no. And this not is a not red chains good. moment. This is looking very scary for him, man. That's some... I can't believe Jet survived that. That was not great DI. Well, that one he's dead from. Even with good DI. Uh, misses the uh, down air on the rock, but Jet misses the parry. Oh boy, that's oh, not good DI! Just, and oh gets my, the kill this time. Doesn't uh, my bad killed. for talking about something else really quickly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really. Should, uh, should yeah, always yeah, just Yeah, be. my bad. Yeah. Sorry. I wanted to analyze something for a moment. That is not acceptable. Jet, give Come me some on. room. Come on, man. You can't be doing this to me. Now, where does Handman go? I I have no idea. Aramana, maybe? Oh, FC. Oh. Hmm. With this, the uh, stage skin as well, I respect it. Well, I the stage skin is just objectively better. Well, see, I think the same thing about a lot of stage skins, but I mean... Well, some are better than others. Okay, this is, this is like the best stage skin. I agree, yeah. I mean, it's just nice all around. Yeah, I mean, and it's, it's not overly distracting. Yeah. Unlike Fire Capital, which is just so boring. Who even plays on that? Seriously. Yeah. I only go to Fire Capital if I can play on Neo Fire Capital. Oh, oh that's nice, nice break nice cancel. Bit of damage. That fair just misses. Good parry, though. F Smash. Almost oh. takes it. Oh, you can clearly fair. see that Hairman yeah. is trying to improve his edge guarding game and try to go for those fundamentals. Like someone such as SC oh. would do. That's such a raw down smash. Oh, oh my Hair god, Man. what are you doing? <laughs> Hairman! Trying to get inside his head right now. You can't be doing that. I mean, if anyone is going to be doing that, it's going to be Hairman. That's true. Handman is just an enigma. I actually love how he's sitting on this platform, by the way. Oh, yeah, no, he's just threatening, um... Like, he's just saying, hey, if you come towards me, I'm going to hit you with this, and I'm going to punish you with a whole bunch of percent. Yeah, he's making it so scary for Jet to approach him. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, just slowing down and, and doing that is, uh, is good. Oh, good fair. Oh, getting some more damage nice. on that. another fair. That this break is, cancel. This is probably the part oh, the that Jet hates. Trying to recover against Craig, who, uh... Just won't stop fairing. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good start there. Wow. I believe he even turned around as well just to make it so he couldn't get parried. Oh, that up nice. smash will okay. take it though. This is still very doable. Jet Definitely. is just at 
Like that. Uh, yeah, well, now it's even. <laughs> and a good good bit of damage. Ooh. Unfortunately, gets the Nair parried, but does not manage to link the combo. Oh, Falls no. Up afterwards, though, and that's a lot of up airs getting a that's lot a of lot damage. That's a lot of percent. But Krag is a heavy boy. It's going to take more than that to kill Krag, especially on this stage. Mm. Yeah, I'm, oh, not, no. I'm not hating this stage pick anymore, just because Krag will not die here. Okay, all right, all right. He's got him off stage oh, right where he wants. Can he pull this off? Oh, Hammond gonna take it to a game five if he can pull off oh his god. edge guard. He's in a real good position right now. Oh, oh the up smash! What the hell? What is he doing? What was that? Oh, Hammond's crazy. Oh my god. Who the hell up smash is there? Oh, the up smash just takes it right then and Jeez. there, taking it to a game five. God damn. This in itself is incredibly surprising. <laughs> Most people, including myself, would have just brushed this off as a 3-0. Jet is a very, oh, very scary player. But Hammond's like, no! Jet just has so much experience in this matchup, and Hammond just bringing a new approach to it. Jet's not ready for it. It's good to see that Hammond hasn't given up just yet. He's not tilting. He wants to keep playing this until the very end, but this is going to be a bit of a tricky stage to play on. Oh, that's such an excellent... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this Killer is list. not good for Jet. <gasps> Oh. oh no! Okay. Unfortunately misses, and now he's in disadvantage. Uh, uh, Jet does uh, just back uh, off. Okay. Well, All right. that my was... bad, my bad. <laughs> Less advantage. Yes. Oh, oh. What? Oh. what? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that was such works spaghetti. Out in, works out in our man's favor. <laughs> um, oh, oh god. That pillar making it up. Oh, that F tilt going well. Good parry from both sides, <laughs> actually. <laughs> And that F tilt sends Jet. Going, oh, oh my God! God. What is yeah, he doing? Off. This is insane. That scroll does not manage to take it. Oh my but the God! The F smash will. This is a pretty small stage, so you got to be careful. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, Hammond's got to be real careful about uh, getting into some of these bad situations where he could die off the top or off the sides. You know, backing up, playing neutral. I'm loving this decision. Uh -oh. oh, this is not good. Oh, but Jet making good use of his jumps. Good parry there. Whoa! Hemen actually mixes Jet up really well, causing him to fall out of the F tilt. Very well done there. Good parries. I'm not Jet sure why Jet is jabbing those rocks. It feels like just jumping over the rock might be a better. What the? Oh my god! What was that? If that up smash connected, that uh -oh. would have been uh -oh. insane. Hemen, I, I'm loving how he just backs up. Yeah, I think that's what very, you need to do. It's a very good decision. Oh. Doesn't parry. Gets that's the fair. fair. He's just trying to play patiently, trying to go for a oh, fair. Oh, that dash attack does not miss. Oh, oh. oh. that's not good. Oh. Oh. Okay, all right. He might be feeling the nerves. Jet, with probably oh. significantly more experience here, is keeping his cool and just layering that damage on. And Hammond, I mean, he's okay. slowing it down. Good fair there. Does not actually break cancel. Nice! Gets the parry it's and it's Okay, we just need one strong. more stock to get this. You're not supposed to have bias. Well, n well, I'm, well for both plays, how do oh, you know? Oh, of, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> one more Apologies. stock. Oh my god, oh, oh. My god. Hey, man, getting this damage going. It's still pretty even considering the weight difference. And oh my god, he's playing so patient right now. Oh, this is not is good. He's at 85%. Oh, yeah, he no Gets an air. Gets getting damage on. Gets Good a parry. <laughs> oh, what? delays too much. Se takes too much time to set everything up. Okay. But Jet is right, getting right, right. to He's a very stage. He's in a bad position. Both characters are in a very scary position at this point. Oh. They're playing so scared right now. Good parry. Oh. oh, that down smash. Oh, and he that. gets it! The clap oh. will just send him flying. Wow. God damn, that could have been anyone's <laughs> game. Wow. That was so close. That was an excellent Ooh. game. Jeez. Holy hell. Oh, my heart's racing. And, you know, even though Jet did make it in the end, moving on to winner's finals, this is the winner's side. And so Hamman, with an upset over Kongaheli earlier in the bracket, does actually manage to keep going. Yes. And so it's... I'm so looking forward to seeing him continue. And, I mean, most people were probably expecting a 3-0 or a 3-1. And Hamman pulling it up to last stock... Last game is a very impressive effort. I, absolutely. I mean, and Hairman's not done yet. He's going to continue, like, powering through bracket, providing that energy. 
and I have no idea what's going to be able to stop him. Yeah, I mean, I'm very excited to see it. I believe he will be playing the winner of Random and SNC, actually, maybe. Well, in any case, it's been nice commentating. Uh, myself and Rendered have to hop off. I'm not sure who's going to be hopping on comms. I but don't know. we... Probably not these two. ...are going know. to be right back. And welcome back, Hello everyone. everyone. Woo! We're on comms. It's it's us. Cherry. Oh, I gotta change this. Um, okay. So up next we have uh, Osu versus Rendered Spy. I'm actually that'll really be interested interesting. for this one because I mean Rendered's been doing really well today. He yeah, he's S and C. That's insane. That's which a crazy is upset. Insane. Yeah. And I mean, uh, but he's not used to the Osu bomb yet. So yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Osu's recently made the made the switch over to Pump from Maple. Uh, let me just change these names up. I wonder if, on how close they are to being ready. I think they're watching uh, Congo versus Red Change right now. So are they playing currently? Yeah. Um, oh, so they've actually had to go in rank because it's two keyboard players. <laughs> so you know that's so going really well. The situation is Red Chains and Conga Heli, both keyboard players, which is fairly unlucky. Um, they uh, yeah, they can't play on the same on the same setup locally, yeah. which is rather unlucky. But uh, shame shame stream can't see it. Yeah, so it's all the way yeah, just there. everyone just standing around the one PC setup. So I think we'll be waiting for that. For yeah, a I don't know how close they are, but yeah, uh, straight after we'll have rendered an Osu. Actually, I think Crutches is doing really well. I don't see a single game to conquer right now. I don't know. I'm not sure. If Red Chains beats Konga, that would be something. It's just got the Rivals music playing in the background. Yep. Alright, looks like they're getting set up. Um, yeah, I wonder, okay, what's the, uh, what's the, what's the prediction for the, for the set? H how do you reckon it'll go? I mean, it's hard to say, because... I Rendon think Rendon's playing really hot today. Yeah. Um, I mean, facing him earlier today in bracket, his advantage state at the moment is terrifying, to say the least. He's good at the game, dude. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, and he's All actually right. playing some sort of neutral. He's not fully rushing in. Yeah. So I, I want to see how Ooh. Osu acts, well, reacts, and how Rendon reacts to the pump. Yeah. Uh, we'll just because, I mean, said from um, Osu earlier while we were having lunch, if you can learn to deal with Pom Dash Attack, it's 80% of the character figured out. <laughs> well, I think that's changed now uh, due to Pom nerfs as yeah. well. Uh, dash Attack is nowhere near as ridiculous as it was uh, pre-patch. Um, yeah. Hope, uh, I wonder... <laughs> no, Maple. <laughs> no, Maple. I'm sorry, Richard. <laughs> Richard's leaving now. Richard's only here for the Maple. Um, yeah. Well, the... I wonder. I wonder. We got uh, some similar, some similar, some similar uh, up airs, both like tail slaps. Yep. One thing I'm curious is because of how, like, it goes vertical then linear, um, for his recovery. Yeah. So I'm curious to see, because Fair can very easily beat that out, just like that straight recovery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want to see what mix up Render does to his recovery to stop that, because that Fair is a very strong tool still for Rosu. Yeah. So there's, I mean, there's a lot more adaptations that need to be made here than just dealing with that attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you might want to put the mic a bit closer to your mouth as well. Right. See if we can turn this up. Um, we'll do that. 
All right. I think they're just just getting ready. Talking about I don't know. <laughs> Could be talking about anything. Bam is a uh, Bam is popping today though. Oh yeah, the ulti ulti setup is huge. Oh, it is massive. It's so packed. There's like, like there's like nearly 400 entrants or something. Yeah, I it's mean, yeah. When I was crazy. checking it today, it was a lot of entrants. So and I mean, many. this is a nine. This is like a 950 entrant tournament. Yeah, it is, which is honestly really impressive for Australia. Yeah. All right, Osu won the won the rock paper scissors. All so right, scissors versus paper. He's cracked. All right, well, let's go to the game, shall we? Uh, yeah. Let's let's head over. Now I'm curious. Uh -oh, wrong characters. Now I am curious what we're gonna see um, being banned here. Because I mean I know very little about this matchup, and uh, I know very little about Pomp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did. Uh, what? Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Osu on the Pom. That's not Pom. That is that is Rana. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. Okay, okay. This is uh, this is winner semis. Oh, it's yeah. still winner semis. Oops. Bam, top twelve. Perfect. All right. Aha. All right. I think On the other side, uh, uh, we can see Osu and Deep and Thought just thinking quite heavily about this. We'll, uh, we'll do this. Aha. There we go. All right. This is going to be Looks a very like interesting match. I, I'm i quite curious to see how this is going to turn out. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to the Swampy Estuary. Here we go. Game one, Render Spy versus Osu winner's semis. And again, immediately seeing that dash attack dash open attack. neutral three times in a row, sitting right off stage. This Looks character right back. is nuts. This character is not bags. Good, good conversions from Osu off the, off the down tilt. Good stuff from him. I mean, un unusually, we're seeing a lot of respect here from Rendered backing off. I'm just aware of uh, the burst options from Pom, and as well, just respecting um, Osu's use of them in conversion to his own. Yeah, Rendered uh, in tournament, he uses a lot more uh, spacing tools like Side B. You'll see him back off a bit more. If you've ever played him, uh, you'll know that he likes to hold forward most of the time, but here uh, he's, he's playing it safe. He, he wants to win this set, man. Oh, definitely. And I mean, this is not an easy set to take home. Just like that, Usu was able to convert off the smallest mistakes. And just, I mean, we all know Osu for how strong he is of a mental player. Yeah, Osu is incredible. He's got amazing neutral, amazing reads. His mental is in insane. And he's cracked at the game. I, I mean, absolutely. As demonstrating here, or, uh, nearly a stock up and pushing right off stage. That first fit hitting, going for a second, but not quite connecting. It's a strong move. You've got to watch out for it. F tilt fair, down tilt fair at the ledge is going to kill you so early. I mean, something I found interesting um, earlier is Rendered's uh, DI in a uh, ledge to try and avoid the fair, which did work um, against the sweet spot. And But going high here to avoid the second one. Yeah. Hopefully Rendered can get some uh, some mileage off the uh, sign explosion in neutral. It... Uh, it's really good for converting. Keeps your opponent in place for a little bit. You can often get a smash stack if you're close enough. We're also seeing a lot of um, the upper stage, like off stage, area covered by sign itself yeah, to yeah. like limit uh, Osu's options to a lower end, which he's trying to get a punish off. But Osu's uh, patience just to wait for it to explode and then do an option is do proving really effective. Very effective, yeah. They are both very talented at this game. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know, just kind of looking f someone's looking for a note, neutral opener, there goes Rendered Spy with, with it, but Osu manages to make it back with the dash attack. Getting caught by Vincent, uh, just standing there and trying to bait out, I don't know if he was going for a parry or what exactly was going on. But yeah, I, I, I'm interested to see what Osu can do with Vincent, like whether he uses it in neutral or only in advantage. Vincent is absolutely incredible for confirming kills. Hit him in that, hit him with an up air or an up smash, or... Oh. Not quite able to get that Not second up enough. here. Osu's GI going way too high. Oh wow, good stuff from Rendered. Getting up to final stock for game one, but Ooh. there we go, an S match will quickly take it. Rendered by shaking his head at that one, but I mean, it's, it's hard to avoid. It's, it's coming for you and it is going to catch you. Good stuff from Osu, taking game one.
We'll see what what, what bands Osu chooses. I imagine he doesn't want rock wall, right? Oh, actually, no, he might because Palm forward air. Mm. Hmm. It's pretty <laughs> pretty solid. It, it is a pretty strong move, but I mean, hey, we're seeing rendered um, very aware of its power and trying to avoid as much as possible off stage. Now, I'm curious what bands we're going to see. Ooh, okay. Okay. And going straight we into, going Rock Wall. into Rock, Rock Wall. Wall, no hesitation. Obviously looking for some early kills here, but, I mean, of course, just with Pom's Fair and other moves, it's also just quite as easy for Pom. But seeing an oh immediate conversion... Uh, yeah, rendered, uh, rendered and Ori just look for, for Bash on this stage. If you can land a Bash, it kills super early. Really, really good stuff, hmm. if you can get that. And I mean, that is why Osu chose this stage. It's exactly. a kill at 60 well, with I mean, forward air. Oh my god. I mean, Rendered actually chose this stage. Rend sorry. Yeah. Rendered chose this stage. Still amazing for Osu. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, Miss Di I mean, Miss Di could fail on any move on POM <laughs> on ledges. Something you cannot afford against this character. Yeah. Especially oh with the burnt resources with Ori, the recover recovery limited, and then that fair just to close off an oh easy stop just like that. The conversions from Osu are incredible. Oh, <laughs> oh, but a misty eye there. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate. When it's by making use of the um, of bashing the uh, the orb, mm. it's a good movement option. Not seen too much because it's you know usually yeah. quite challenging to do. I mean, yeah, we see uh, we saw Kusi use it a lot in Genesis Eight um, course, yeah. to use it between stocks and doesn't know oh, where he's going. But the back air oh. chains nearly catching. That palm float is such a good tool in disadvantage. Oh yeah. If he can keep back keep this back air chain up, then he might take the stock. Full no smash. tech. Excellent work from Rendered. He's doing it in between stocks to avoid invincibility too, mm. which I think is really smart. Yeah, ju just to stop like the advantage of uh, immediately being grabbed after the stock is taken. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But ni nice put up to already 60%, evening the game up again. A nice parry on nodes, but a nice Ooh. counter parry from Osu. I wonder what um if Osu's going to make much use of uh, the, uh, I don't know what to call it, the sing field thing. That oh, yeah. For recovery. I mean, a reply. Oh, wow. Ooh. Rendered taking that very nicely. Good stuff from him. Rendered's by get takes game two. Look at him go. Now, I'm curious what bands we are going to see here from Rendered. Mm. I would imagine some smaller stages, and uh, yeah. I mean, we see Osu use a lot of Frozen Fortress as well. Yeah, this, uh, this matchup, I imagine, is just sort of like they get one hit and it's just kind of GG. Not in the combo aspect, but they're both so light hmm. that it's sort of just like... Oh, Semis is yeah. misspelled. We're actually seeing... What's that? Oh, when is Semis double M? What? Is that not supposed to have two M's? I'm confused. There we go. A, I'm a genius. There we go. All right, here All right. we are. And as I was saying before, Frozen Fortress. Yeah, Frozen Fortress. I, I quite like this stage. I don't know how good it is for these two characters. I don't play these two characters. I mean, Rendered definitely likes this stage a lot, and I'm assuming that's mainly for the movement, um, just yeah. moving across the stage. Triplats. Yeah. The, this stage layout is very nice. I'm a big fan. Hmm. I mean, I can see also why Osu would want to go to this, like, would prefer the stage as well, simply because the benefits float can get off it with those high platforms. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, back air and, and up air, the um, stuff that Osu can do with back air and up air on the stage are crazy. Like, back air's low knockback, and then up air has super high, uh, good kill potential. This is a good edge guard from Render, though, drops it. Hopefully, you can keep it going. See if you can take the oh. stuff. Good stuff from Rendered Spy. My goodness! And see if we can get some more. Oh my goodness! Hey, he's gone. going straight back off stage. Osu's just clinging onto the edge right now, trying to use Vincent to give some space to allow him to get back. But I mean, we've just seen Render keep pushing his advantage and just keep pressuring Osu further back. Yeah, Render's uh, oh nice is, air dodge. He's really good now too. It's a, uh, it's kind of a staple of his gameplay now. He's just his ability to move around platforms and mix up the opponent is what we're seeing from him, and this is why he, um, his stage was left open. I mean, yeah, but also a nice CI on the up here because, I mean, if you missed CI, that that was a very early death. Good parry. That's a that's a thing you really got to do if you're playing against Pom is you got to parry those music notes. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, they uh, take so much shade control. Same with Sign as well. Yeah, Except yeah. they have that slight extra, like, they have the slight. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. 
Wow. Nice CI. And avoiding the F smash, but Ooh. again, just as that DI in then fair. Yeah. Down tilt, bombs down tilt is incredible. It's so fast. Oh my god. So safe. All right. Wow. Okay, well, and Render with the revenge that. stock. I like to point out that Render does a stock up. That's incredible. He is performing extremely well. Oh, I, I think, think that was a misinput. Okay, this might be big for Osu, though. Ooh. Oh, but going Drops high, a bit. just yeah. a nice hover in the air to try and get away from Osu's threats and then going straight back onto stage. And Rendered's knowledge of where Sign is at all times as well, so he can always convert off it. Mm. Like, he'll try and cover that drop down, that drop zone for Osu. Oh, and he lands what the a bash. catch with Bash! Rendered Spy takes game three. It's currently 2 1 here. Rendered Spy, previous top 16 in Australia against Osu number three. Oh my lord, he is popping off today. And he beat SNC earlier today. He could make it into winner's side grands if he beats Osu. That would be insane. Rendered Spy is playing out of his mind. Rendered Spy! Let's go, Rendered! Let's go! I mean, he's coming out with all the upsets today. I mean, yeah. we if all know Osu. Osu, that's Osu can insane. come back from this. I mean, yeah. if you think back to, what was it, Espionage 2 against SNC, Game 5 on Grand Finals and Grand Finals reset to take the reverse 3 stock. Was that, that was Osu versus SNC, right? Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we, we know Osu can come back from a lot. Osu, his mental is so good. He uh, He's really improved on that on that aspect. He used to get really bad tourney nerves, I'm pretty sure, but not anymore. And now going into Air Armada, and I mean, I I can already see the advantages for Pom here. Uh, it's guarding Ori. Just that less of a yeah. platform to go to, forcing Rendon slightly higher, as well as um, just uh, the float field off stage would be so much harder to contest because you don't have a guaranteed recovery. Yeah, also side blast zones are uh, fairly small on this stage and top blast zones really small. Exactly. Uh, good for uh, you know up up air or up smash yeah. kills for um, for palm and good for bash kills and forward air kills. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, you already said it, but yeah, the up air and fair kills for palm would be absolutely detrimental. Yeah, like just there, like that, that killed at like eighty. What the hell? It's it is a very good stage choice. Oh, from but uh, we're seeing a second edge gun immediately trying to take a second stock. Float is incredible. It is so good in so many different situations. In disadvantage, in advantage, it just, it does it all. We're actually oh, seeing Rendon's a weird oh. battle for the top platform, trying to bait the other player up there, drop, and then get the kill yeah, they're, off they're of it. They're looking for some, some early kills off the top. I mean, well, currently it's just a battle for the height. Yeah, Osu uh, making good use of uh, the... The note, the song field. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Song field. Uh, oh. You put in the notes to it to speed them up. <laughs> spin. <laughs> the, it's just a spin. <laughs> Rendered is absolutely gaming. But uh, Osu's got a considerable lead. If he can take this stock early, that would be yeah. incredible. As I was saying Bring before, with the ledge five. forcing Rendered low. Two dash attacks in a row to force him off of it, which is what makes this stage so terrifying against Pomp. A nice F smash. But not enough to kill yet. Not quite enough. You're looking for kills But off that up air nearly kills, but nice DI from Rendered. Another up air will do it. Oh, definitely. But we're seeing some advantage here from Rendered. Just waiting to see what Osu does. Nice done to actually destroy the sign. Oh, oh, the unlucky. unfortunate trade. <laughs> Osu just running away. <laughs> just floating off stage. It. Like, I'll be back in a sec. Nice Rendered, F smash. If he, can make this, if he can make this count, this could still be Rendered's game. But Osu gone back to neutral and advantage. Dash attack, very strong move. We're just seeing Render being carried across stage repeatedly. And the fair oh. usage to cover, what I actually really like to see is the fact that Osu's going for one fair. When it not not connects, he's l already limited the space where it can go close yeah, to stage. Wow. Amazing and then he does another one and Osu. nearly takes a stock. Incredible, incredible stuff. He's, he's bopping, he's rocking out. But yeah, I mean, another game for Osu, and now it's 2-2. Two, two. We're going to game five, everyone. Holy. All right, let's see. Can Rendered make the another upset, his second major upset for the tournament? Osu see smiling. Rendered is extremely focused right now. Just chatting it up. Hmm, Osu in deep thought. See what all these players decide on. That's a, that's a weird ban. I don't know. I don't feel like Ori wants that stage anyway. 
No, but I also feel like Rendered doesn't mind it either. Because, I mean, I, I've seen, like, in sets against him myself, we've seen he Rendered has, go there quite he, a few times. Sometimes he does he does go there, but I think we're going, we're about to jump into Trouple Pond, oh, Trouble Game Pond. 5. Here we go. This, uh, another, another triplat stage. Uh, we saw that with Frozen Fortress. This stage, great for movement, amazing for edge guards. Cause the oh, the up and nearly taking it at, like, at 60, wow. Nearly stealing that stock from him, but Osu might do a bit of stock stealing himself. I mean, having that uh, field right at the edge there is already really terrifying, provides so much potential to just float in. Yeah. A nice parry though from Osu to take it back to neutral, but now we're seeing fight for advantage. Oh, I should better make this count. See if we can use the float off stage to to catch Rendon's spy slacken, slacken. Just the wait, not even throwing out any options, just waiting to see what Rendon's spy does, and that forward smash connects. Good forward smash. This is a, uh, it's it's tense. Nerves are nerves are high. Tony nerves are coming into play. They are. Uh, oh, is that gonna ki kill? Oh, oh my amazing. god! With All the right. orb. Oh my goodness. Rendon's I don't think I've ever seen crazy. orb purple before. That was really good stuff from him. I mean, as, as we're seeing though, just in that interaction just before, that that field right at the edge of the platform is already really threatening. Yeah, just the of stage control of both of these characters is insane. Oh, good stuff from, from Rendered. See if he can make a count. Up tilt. Back air. See if he can keep the edge guard going. Ooh, oh, not quite connecting. Whiff. But I'm glad to see that we saw Rendered backing off, realizing that he doesn't exactly yeah. have a oh, perfect opportunity, but a nice Rendered. back air. Rendered is a stock up. This is really good for him. See if Ozu can do something about it. Oh, oh the no. SD. Oh, that's oh, not what you want to no. see. It's now even. That is tragic. It is even game five. Rendered Spy versus Ozu. But we're looking across, I'm looking across the table, and Rendered looks dead face. That doesn't seem to affect him at all. He is focused as ever. This is a set to be taking and a set to watch. Truly is. Osu with the amazing advantage state. The fair. See if he can make it. Oh, Renders by going very high. Very <laughs> probably scared of, scared of Osu right now. 90%. This is where Ooh. Pong starts to take advantage. This yeah. is where the kills start to come in. Rendered, and Rendered we could be seeing one here. He needs to do something. He needs something. Oh, Vincent. This might Vincent. be it. Oh, oh nice parry. parry. And we see Osu off stage. Oh, oh, not quite. Oh. All we need is an up here to take it. This, these top oh, platforms are be becoming it. much more oh. terrifying and a down smash to take it. Amazing stuff from Osu. Very nearly Incredible. making a, a second massive upset of the tournament. Good stuff, guys. Woo! Oh my god. What an absolute crack and set. That was incredible. That was a pleasure it, it to It was watch. something to watch. I mean, just seeing both of the players' like adaptation to the characters. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much Pom has actually, sorry, how much Osu has played against Rendered, but both of them just realizing what needed to be done to face the other character. Yeah, yeah. And just that battle for stage control we consistently saw towards the edge of platforms suddenly became so much more intense as the games went on. All right, so, uh, oh, whoops, there we go. Uh, I think up next we are gonna see uh, Random, Random Seven, Seven Flame, Flame versus, versus SNC. SNC. This is an interesting wow. one. Wow! All right, this will be this should be good. Uh, these two have uh, they've had a couple game five sets, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, they've uh, yeah Random Seven Flame. He's absolutely incredible. He's yeah. improving so fast. And SNC, you know him, you love him. What what a player! Yeah, I mean he's been in the scene for so long. Red Chain's beat Congo. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wow, all right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, Konga's not playing bad either. I was just facing him before on the Eliana. That guy is playing well today. All right. What are and for Red Chains to beat that, that is saying something. Loses semi, loses quarters, loses eights. Uh, We've had so many upsets this one tournament. Eights. SNC on the crag as always. Damn top twelve, yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go see what um, see what they're up to. Is that good? Um. All right. 
SNC is also back on uh, back on Super instead of IDK. Oh, no yeah. longer repping the IDK. <laughs> Who no won the trying rock, to rub it into Let's go the loss. Who won? Who won the rock, paper, scissors? I don't know, but I'm assuming oh. by the fact that we're seeing a yeah. uh, random fan first. Andrew won the rock, paper, scissors. Uh... I wish you could, like, switch these Oh, yeah, just the colors around instead of actually nice. having to swap the whole thing. Yeah. All right, oh, but we're going into game one. We'll quickly fix this as oh we're going. No. Oh. oh no! Ah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I did it. I'm amazing at operating the stream. I don't know what you're talking about. This one I'm actually really excited to see because SNC's knowledge of the game and just random sevens like control with Orkane is really strong. Okay. There we go. It should be all good now. Oh, is that right? All right, all right. Here okay, we go. here we are. We did it. We're here. All right, and Andrew's <laughs> random seven flame is already at one thirty. All right, let's see what he can what he can make with this opening, though. I mean, a lot has happened in these forty seconds already <laughs> going into this game, and a nice fair to send him off stage. This is the stage we are scared against Crag. Ooh. Sorry, not the stage, the percent. The percent. We are scared of the the Crag percent. I don't know what that percent is, but it's 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 low. It's lower than you would think. Any percent past eighty, and you're already sweating. <laughs> You're nervous at that point. Nice side B to go through, well, go past the rock and then actually hit SNC. And he's now really far off stage, which I actually don't mind. That's Ooh. really hard for Orkane to challenge. SNC, yeah, me. Mean, oh, sad but unfortunately, SD there. unfortunate yeah, SD. You got the timing a bit wrong on the rock throw into side B. But, uh, yeah, they, I, don't, I don't really know what these two characters are looking for. I imagine uh, Craig really, really wants to pull rock. His rock goes through bubbles and. Mm is super impressive as always. But I, I just think the bubble control against Crag itself, because he's slower, he falls out of it less. It suddenly bubbles become much more effective against Crag, I would feel. Yeah, yeah of course. Crag also big body, good for all kinds of combo. But a nice up air, and Ooh, there we go, yeah, an up smash to take it. The up smash. He's a, he's a veteran of the scene. He's good for a reason, as and see. Nice back to send him off stage, and we're seeing at 90% a high pillar. Normally we see SNC go decently low, but a high pillar to try and stuff out um, the or just approach from Orkane. Always good, always good for the mix-ups. And what a nair to actually, the invincible nair one to catch the uh, side B as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah. a nice rock parry at 131%. See if Random 7 Flames can make this edge guard count. Yeah, I Back mean, you air. have to look for the stock Ooh. now because if it gets too high, that's when Craig starts running away with it. Yeah. And there we go. Alright. So one to one. Game one. That's some nice combos. Putting up 40%, 46, and we're still climbing. Oh my goodness. In one interaction, R7 has made this very even. Another thing we might see come into play um, quite effectively from SNC is doing uh, dash attack. Uh, like stage carries because yeah. Orkane's air friction is so high he doesn't get sent very far from uh, horizontal hitting moves so Orkane might just get absolutely rolled when hit by dash attack F tilt yeah I mean I, I can definitely see that I mean although I do want to just mention we are currently seeing R7 on 195% very high percent tensions high SNC just looking to seal this stock yeah, just for any he sort of advantage too here overconfident. Mm. oh double parry Oh, oh, that might be it. Oh, oh, nice avoidance from R7. Oh, oh and takes it. What incredible. a robbery. Wow. That is incredible stuff from the Orkane play himself. Wow. All right. SNC loses game one. He's a... Yeah, banding merchant port. Wait, oh, are we not seeing a no. band of merchant port? Okay. Rockwell Spirit Tree and Jules Veil. Oh, okay. I mean, he might go treetop lodge or something. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Blazing. Okay. okay. Blazing. This is uh, this is an interesting pick. I mean, I remember like it's for the same reason as merchant port, it's good for Craig. It's that the lodge platforms gives a lot of ability to um, uh, wave dash across the platforms. Yeah, yeah. So and much control on this stage, really. Mm. Just one platform can do so much for any character. I mean, I'm not quite sure how good uh, Orkane is on the stage. I'd Orkane, imagine not great. Usually, a, ca 
a character is uh, is really, really good on the stage if they have good plant drop options. Yeah. Orkane has back air, which is really, really good. Yeah. It's disjointed and really strong. Oh, oh no. unfortunate SD. Oh, that's... I mean, this can very easily be even up, though. We're seeing SNC at 142%, but with the opening, he's already building a oh, lot of percent. That's that crag stage carry. There Hopefully we go, a down smash, and such nice EIO. Barely surviving that. Yeah. R7 needs to take this stock pretty soon. I mean, we're seeing him at 82%. Again, this is where it starts to get really sweaty. Percent is climbing real fast. A little bit too fast for liking. Oh, oh rock no, saves the rock him. save! Oh my goodness. Oh, unfortunate, missing the uh, down smash there. Beautifully done from SNC to avoid it, but now we're seeing a carry to the other side of the stage. I mean, we're, we're seeing this might um, be R7. Yeah. yeah, there we go. But I was Good gonna say, we're, we're seeing R7 go really deep to try and find this kill. He is, he is at 100%, uh, he is 100% down though, which is really not what you wanna see. Hopefully he can crawl his way back. Nice move. We're getting the start of something. Yeah, so this is Orkane coming into play with his amazing and really fast pie drop options. Another thing to note is Orkane's nair bounce. You'll see yeah. R7 use it quite a lot for movement and to mix up the opponent. I mean, it's, it's also so such good. a good combo starter. Like, you can oh, get so incredible. much off of that. And we're already seeing R7 take back the lead that SNC had. Only a 50% difference now and a nice back air. Oh, he might be dead off this if he up Oh, there we yeah, go, there nice. We go. He is now a stock up. That 100% stock difference is now in uh, is now in R7's favor. I mean, yeah, just any move, but just stalling just above stage. We're not seeing SNC go for any above options. I mean, 164% and SNC is still in disadvantage. Well, this S could S be S it, though. SNC does need to take the stock, otherwise he might be down two games. But there he there he goes. He gets One thing it. I do want to mention with the bubbles that we saw, Random7 used the bubbles to give him time to get back while yeah. SNC was stuck in it. SNC just got out, but that could have actually given him enough time to just save. Yeah, of course. Organ bubbles, always an unpleasant thing to get stuck in. But uh, SNC, he knows his way around. Oh, he might oh, take the, the fair stock chains. Here. Fair chains, that's all Kane having oh really good Oh my god. Oh my goodness. There we go. SNC takes that game. SNC wins game two. Uh, who's that next to Red Chains? That is Ludelli, I believe. Oh. oh. This is uh this is wrong. <laughs> accidental accidental picks. Alright. Alright. Uh, doing stage bands. Accidentally chose their arm out of before. Whoopsie. Uh, no, Lou didn't answer this bracket. She only played PM and uh, PM doubles, I yeah. think. Oh, well, I think also just PM main bracket as well. Just clash with rivals, so. Yeah. All right, here we go. Into Tru Truffle Pond game Truffle two. Truffle Pond. Oh. All right. All right. Uh, just train damage for damage, but R7 getting the getting the edge guard. He might. Ooh. Oh, barely. It's risky. See what he can do. Up air, up oh that could have been Nearly close. A nice conversion. That I, mean, I like SNC's idea though. SNC's knowledge of this game, his brain is huge. I mean I like the idea. I mean unfortunately the upbeat broke it, but just putting rock above there to try and get something as the upbeat. Yeah, the the amount of knowledge that SNC has on this game and the amount of interactions that he knows off by heart is incredible. It's what makes him such an incredible player. Yeah. But us having with the SD there. We're, we're seeing a few of those these, uh, this set, unfortunately. Yeah, just like barely not making it back to stage, which is uh, which is a bit unfortunate. Even though he had other options, just barely misspaced it. Just that crouch wait from SNC, trying to see what um, option R7 threw out. And I mean, of course, knowing he SNC's might have knowledge. To teleport here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a super scary situation to be in, just on the edge and just being like SNC just patiently waiting. Good mix like, up there from R7 too with the drop instead of landing with an aerial. Oh, and charging the down smash, not quite oh, no, getting oh. it. Back air two not connecting. I mean, the past 10 seconds. Oh, se oh there goodness. we go. I mean, the past 10 seconds, those players were just sitting there about to take a kill from both of them, just yeah. swapping between, just interrupting each other just before it happened. And a nice Incredible up here to job. make it even. Wait, oh, not even even, sorry. SNC is a stock up. SNC is looking very solid in this game. In this game three. Dash tag F tilt, get him off stage. The stage carry is incredible. Oh, see, the knowledge. 
the knowledge of rock and how it interacts is just yeah. incredible. And just, I mean, just knowing the way like the mix-up options are possible from Orkane and him just mixing it up himself just makes it so hard to yeah, read. Oh, where parry, he's put this that. might be a stock. Never mind. Not quite enough time for a different smash attack. But maybe a stronger one. And there we go. That'll An unfortunate it. TI. SNC takes game three. It is currently two one. That was a quick game too. That was fast. Mm. Uh, now, Ben's coming in. Hmm. I'm curious to see what R7 pulls out now. And, and yeah, as you're saying, SNC is looking much more clean than earlier. He's starting to warm up again after not playing the game for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, SNC, he's, uh, he's warming up. He's, he's coming back in, into the group, into the swing of things. Yeah. I mean, it's also good to see, because SNC was mentioning earlier, this wasn't going to be an easy set, and just his like focus as well as just preparation yeah. for this is amazing. Both are both very analytical players too. Mm. Um, they both look at the game in a very uh, very particular way that's only really suited to them. That are, mm. and it shows like that both their knowledge is just amazing. What a SNC. good roll read! Like catching him and sending it off stage. Oh, wow. the unfortunate catch on the rock to stall in the mid air. Like again, stalling R seven mid air just so he can get an up smash in there. Yeah, that is insane. Really, just. Super smart, knowledgeable stuff. And we'll, a nice uh, back air. Yeah, beautiful back air. I wonder if we'll see some uh, some break cancel stuff from SNC too. That's always a fun part of Crag. Mm. Really entertaining. I mean, yeah. I mean, we know SNC knows the complex tech, so if we're gonna start seeing some, I mean, it's gonna be now. He basically invented break canceling. I mean, yeah. This man has everything covered. I mean, after all, he wrote a Bible on Crag. <laughs> he did write the Bible. Oh, conversion from from R7, but does not go his way. A nice uh, net to actually start into vantage, but nothing quite converting off of it. See what SNC can do to catch these landings. He's done a good job so far, but misses this one. This is the parry, misses the down smash, oh, but nice catches coverage. him with the up air. My goodness. Both this these man, players looking super strong right now. The up air chains. R7, a stock up. This could be really good for him if he can make a conversion without losing too much percent. And a nice take to get behind the rock. Instead of like just waiting, getting juggled, and that's probably the most terrifying part of building percent is when you're starting to get juggled under a rock. Yeah. As you see, missing a few parries on the. Oh, oh my goodness! What a coverage! Beautiful up here. Wow. Well, sorry, up here, up smash. Folks, we are going to game five. This has been two game fives in a row. This is exciting. Dot plays Crag. Oh my <laughs> god. And yeah, we do love Game 5 set. We've seen so many of them today. So many of the like, top players in Australia out here. CSGO sets going off like, going still, off to our left. Still can't believe that there's, uh, there's like shooters at, at BAM, a yeah. fighting game tournament. To our right, we've got Ultimate. To our left, we've got CS. And right now, we've got Rivals of Aether. The most important game, of course. Oh, absolutely. And we're seeing Fire Capital. I Fire actually Cap quite like this pick from SNC. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it has so much control over platforms with down B. If R7 doesn't get uh, the parries on the on the down Bs, he might be in in big trouble. We'll see how much uh, SNC makes use of it too. There's there's our first down B. R7 using a empowered side B. It's mm. a it's a rather strong move. Uh, which not many people expect. Mm, I, I just don't know because, I mean, SNC was just waiting on the platform when R7 used it, so of course just ready for it, but he was getting it at an odd time. Another thing I want to mention is when um, R7 came across with Fair, SNC immediately crouch cancelled, just expecting it to hit, but it's still just like a super strong option for him to get ready again underneath R7 instead yeah. of taking the hit. Uh, the, the stalling from R7 with the, with the down B is really, really good. It's good stuff. It's uh, mess it's messing up SNC's timings a little bit, which is he's getting a lot off it. Mm. No parry from the rock shards, unfortunately. A nice side beat to bounce him back, oh, and we're starting to see here? something. Oh. oh, unfortunate! A down smash might have taken Amazing that. Amazing tech on the rock. the rock. Yeah, rock. It's always getting in the way. <laughs> always. Oh, that might be a stock. Oh, barely oh, space. Nice it. di. These players are at a very high percent. Both one sixty plus. 
See who'll take the stock first. I reckon who takes the stock first might get a fair bit of momentum. Yeah, I mean, this is where it starts to get nervous. Oh, oh my god. Okay, here we go. All right, R7. nice. At 173. Let's see what Essendon can do. He wants to take the stock as soon as possible. I mean, this is also when the mental starts coming. Just that idea that you need to kill them. And just the feeling of getting yeah. your opponent to 200%. And this is game five, kill. too. Oh, like, exactly. This is, this is losers. This is Someone is getting knocked out this game. Someone's going home. That was a that was really good. A nice from, uh, parry and down smash to even good it up. from S and C, the uh, the rock shards coming down, yeah, like that as well. I mean, this has been nail biting the whole way through. Both players staying very even. Yeah. Both incredibly skilled, incredibly talented players. I said with the edge guard, see what he can do with bubbles. Oh, there's the empowered side beat. Not quite, quite getting it. S and C just drifting to the right to avoid it and getting on a platform as fast as he can. And not just not quite enough conversion from R7 to start something, but there we go. The empower side B, as you said, and S and C is very far out. Ooh, and this, just this the could be bad for S and C. Hey, oh, all right, conversion. okay. Just an up air to quickly take it, and now he is on a decent advantage. But all knowing Crag and S and C, uh, this can easily be taken right back to even, and we might be seeing that here with a nice starting combo. Oh, what conversion can, can R7 get? This is looking good for him. He's going to take this momentum. What's he going to do with it? Hopefully, he'll run with it. But oh, he does nice, take that stock. Nice up smash, and it's still decently even. This is anyone's game. This this could go either way. Crag can make some crazy comebacks with his weight and the amount of damage potentially he has from dash mm. attack. I mean, we've just seen from both these players, their advantage shape is so strong. But yeah, I was about to say, we're probably going to see the bubbles as soon as SNC comes up, and then... Nice parry, and oh, a down smash, not able to take it, but oh, not quite catching that up there. We're seeing back at going far off stage here. SNC with his creative recoveries doesn't quite make it though, still in disadvantage. See what R7 can make of this. I mean, this is already extremely this intense. Is, oh, it's so tense. Both just just sitting on the rock, racing. just defending that rock from SNC is just normal usage, not letting him get advantage off of it. Oh, but there we go, SNC's found his way to the rock, and we're He's starting to see momentum. something. Oh, but an that might smash, be it. and oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. R7 beats SNC. <laughs> Incredible stuff. That really is, well done that from is both players. Good on him. Wow. God damn. That was a set. Past two sets have been amazing. R7 going crazy. Holy. I mean, yeah, we just saw Osu just giving R7 a big pat on the back, just saying, yeah. well done. He, he's improved so much. He is absolutely incredible at this game. Actually, who do we have next? I Up believe next. it's... Um, so we have... Up next we have... Uh, I think we're doing... I don't know, actually. We might be doing uh, Handman R7. Actually, no, we, we'll probably give him a break. I think we'll do... Rendered Spy and Red Chain. Yeah, that sounds like a set Both we're going to see next. players who've made upsets, they've they've done really well I this mean, tournament. I mean, Red Chains, he's been skyrocketing up. He just beat Conga Heli. I mean, you know, within Halen three months of getting here, he won Amis. He's now beaten, <laughs> he's beaten number five in OCE. Wait, number four, number five. I'm not quite, I don't quite remember. He's too good. Oh, no, we're doing Hamman R7. You sure you don't want to take a break, Andrew? <laughs> you want to? You, you're <laughs> playing games. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Going straight Looks into like it, keeping his hands warm. Hamman versus Random Seven Flame. Let's see how this goes. Oh okay. man, we've, we've seen the same character matchup as well. Oh yeah. Uh, Hamman is a. Uh, I feel a resident. Hammond's also been proving himself today. I mean, nearly taking a game against Jet. I mean, and we all know Jet recently has been going insane, going even Hammond. with Gabe again and again. Dude, he beat he beat Conga earlier this tournament too. Yeah, this guy is like absolutely he is playing in his element. well today. Me, I think every local we've had him at, he's been doing really well. Yeah, he's he's doing so well. This guy, this kid is insane. The kid hailing from Victoria. Look, you can switch him. Aha. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. Well, that would have been good to know for Ellie. Yeah, that would have been that would have been good to know. Anyway, here we go. Game one. Game one. Looks like we are heading off to. Oh, wait. Actually, here they go. Game one of the swampy losers history. semis. Losers actually, semis. oh yeah, we got to change yes, it to losers semis. I think I spelled that wrong. 
Alright, okay. there we go. Here we go. Wonder how this will go. I wonder at the uh, the difference in playstyle between SNC and Handman. Oh yeah, I mean it's very apparent, and I mean we we've known it since day one. The the two crags play extremely differently. We will see how it goes. I'm to update the oh. All right. oh my goodness. There okay. we go. All right. Both at. 100% I mean, it's already. been 40 seconds, and both it's are at 100. percent This has been an explosive so game fast. so far. See who takes the stock first. Hamman extremely momentum based. He he will take something and oh, run and with note, it. Oh, and note and knock into the wall fast enough to get a tech, and there we go. First stock to Hamman. Oh, F tilt. See what he can make of it. Just avoiding that forward air, and I mean, he's already getting some mileage off it. Just spacing himself back, not letting uh, R7 try and get a stock, and just. Like just waiting, just waiting for us to approach, and a down smash will take it at that high of a percent. I wonder if uh, I wonder how uh, how well R7's is gonna adapt to uh to the new crag because they are, you know, they're fairly different. Yeah. I mean, two. one thing that's also very clear, clearly different about the two crags is one of them might we, we might see a 3D crag on screen. <laughs> <laughs> stupid 3D model crag. It's so good, but a nice combo from Rock Shards to Forward Air. I mean, that, that's a classic Handman combo. We've seen that so many times and a nice roll to avoid the smash attack. Unfortunate oh. parry. See if Andrew can do something with it. R7. Knocking off stage. Handman, oh. what can he do? Uh, uh, oh, oh, no. oh no! That is tragic. Handman, not phased. Back into the game. Immediately going. He doesn't he wants, doesn't want to let Andrew start feeling himself, just start feeling like, okay, I've got this in the bag. He wants to keep applying the pressure and keep making this feel close. Gotta keep gotta keep him on his toes. Both oh, that could back just air. And oh. there we go, nice catch. Very nice down smash. That will take it. Even stocks, almost even percent. I mean it's basically even percent, may as well be. Oh yeah, I mean, with how heavy Crag is, you can may as well <laughs> say it at so many percents. But here we are, seeing, I mean, just some nice neutral from both players, just not too like aggressive, just staying quite enough away from each other because they're both aware of their combo potential. They're both aware how easy it is for both characters to start taking your stocks. Just absolutely explode the opponent. But even percents. Unfortunate parry, but we're not seeing any conversion off it. Ooh. Well, came with his incredible down tilt. That tilt is so good. Oh yeah. Oh, the third, uh, the third spike didn't come out there. That's a, uh, uh, that'll be a bit annoying to deal with. There we go, nice wow. roll reader. I mean, we saw so Amazing. many rolls. Oh, hey, the there crag. we go. Wow, toxic, toxic behavior from Air Man. But he does take game one. Hey, time you should have rocked up, man. That would have been <laughs> sick. Bro, having egg time here and just uh, wiping everyone on locals would have been <laughs> insane. But yeah, I mean, we're, we're seeing both players just ready to go, knowing what bands they want, knowing what stages they want to play on. Yeah, they uh, they want to keep their hands warm too. Yeah. They want to keep in the flow of it. R7, often opting for this stage, he he's a big fan of blazing. Mm. I mean, we saw it work uh, well for him. Uh, I, I think he won it last set. Or was that SNC? Uh, uh, R7 took this game on blazing. Yep. Yeah, so he's definitely wow. very comfortable with the stage, and what a amazing, tech. amazing like disadvantage play from Hamman, like noticing the down smash coming back up and taking advantage of it. And there we go, just some nice combos to start juggling. 104 percent, and nice coverage of the down smash using the side B to stall, get himself away from it. I mean, I, I also love seeing the down smash on Rock to set him up into the air, just setting up for an up air or just forward air. Yeah, absolutely. Incredible stuff from the man of ham. He's surviving real long too. Both of them are. Oh yeah. In, oh, there, no we there we go. Speaking of commentators curse coming into play. Commentators curse. You love to see it. I think him at 160 percent though. I mean, R7 just has to get one conversion here, and there we go. That would be the stock. See if he can do something with this. I mean, we've got to remember here now, for, this, for this one. Oh, Hamman has no. got the pillar, but he doesn't need it. Hamman wants to take a bunch of like just deal as much percent as he can here before he loses his stock. That's exactly what he's doing. He's took the advantage and he's rolling with it. Oh, unfortunately, uh, not getting the... Oh, he's going to be able to pull rock now. Oh, no. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Using the bubbles Good to stuff. catch him. See what he can do. 
And there we go, and up it. Oh, that doesn't quite take it. And another one. Oh, and there, there we, we go, go, and up smash. Hamman, a whole stock up. Just, he's playing so well. This is looking like Hamman's game to win. Do you know what we might actually see? What's that? A Hamman versus Rendon Spy loses grands. What the heck? The classic, the age old <laughs> tale. Well, um, yeah, Osu's uh, sitting waiting in winners, winners finals with Jet. I mean, then again, I do say that, but, you know, these two players, I mean, R7 especially, oh, he can do standoff. Yeah, just waiting there. I mean, that's that's such a that's such an optimal play against Craig, just sitting there, sitting behind the rock. And it's like, do you want your rock? You can come take it. Yeah. You can come take it. It's yours. What you gonna do about it? Well, Andrew is making a really solid comeback here. Oh, there we go. He's oh, like, trying he's to get. Uh, so oh, oh, unfortunate. Nice parry. But I mean, it was. Hamman but, I mean, it was a also good isn't check. really doing anything about bubbles. He hasn't parrying them or anything. Mm. But I mean, oh, we're no. Seeing, oh That's no! That's right. That will be game two to Hamman. Game two to Hamman. Up two games. Oh, it's not looking so good for for our hero. Oh, straight into it. Oh, straight Damn. in. Oh, this might oh, be. Oh, okay, a, yeah. An actual, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I thought these two just knew, just <laughs> telepathically, just said, yeah. "Yeah, this is the stage <laughs> we are going to." Hmm. Both of them in deep thought. What stages will they choose? I mean, one of the scariest things, like, especially against Random 7 playing, you do not want to start letting him get momentum because he's, yeah. he, he is a very much momentum player. Both of them are. Mm. Just, it's just... But speaking, like, going against that, they've been really even. Oh, yeah. Like, Hangman might be up two games, but... Oh, my God! <laughs> the, the ledge <laughs> the cancel. Oh, my God. Cancel. Damn, he's crazy with it. But I mean, as you were saying, both these players have been extremely even these past few games. Yeah, they've been really even. They are absolutely testing each other and their ability. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, a few, like both games have come to just one interaction difference. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. That was so smart. He could have gone for the up air, wouldn't have killed. But hitting that read with the down air into the up smash, incredible job. And I mean, it killed so early as well. Yeah. That's, like against Crag, 80% so is, that is that's like beautiful killing parry. at 50. Oh, this could. This is looking good for for R7 so far. Good and tech. a nice tech to avoid the up smash. I meant just trying to fish for a kill here, which means we don't want to see at this late in bracket. Not trying to. We don't want to see the nerves and the desperation yeah. start to come in for a kill. He can take it more chilly. He's still got uh, three games to work with. Oh, what was that? Wow, that, that was. He he ledge cancelled off of the rock. Wow. Some That's impressive stuff. Wow. These players know what they're doing. See if Hamman Hamman really needs to take this stock very soon. Oh, and there, there we, we go. go. Still, I feel like he could have taken that there. He was mm, just still at the edge. Maybe, maybe. Still, the, uh, Hamman is down a hundred percent. That's never good mm. against any opponent, but especially R7, who can hold his own. That's there a we go. Up smash. And just as you said, up an entire stock. This is looking good for for R7. But we're starting to see an opening interaction from Hamman. But it's not quite converting into anything, but it very well could in just a second. Oh, the net into the upside. There good we go. Read. Beautiful very read. Good. That actually might have covered the roll out as well, because it was just like the perfect space yeah. on the platform where all With the options right were timing, covered. That can, I can cover a lot of options. Mm. I mean, Heyman was just sitting there. He was ready for it. He was well aware. Oh, e even percents here. Hamman's called his way back. Another, Another <laughs> head, oh my <laughs> god! Same situation. Three How times this it? game, and there we go. An up here, but oh, oh, oh my god! There we wow. go. Hamman wins A the set. A three zero from Hamman. The world's closest three zero. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Good three zero, stuff from him. but it was close. It was close. God damn! Impressive really stuff. stuff. Really good stuff from these players. Now, up next, this is this is. This is an interesting set. Rendered Spy versus Red Chains. Damn. They, these guys have been on a tear this tournament. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Rendered has a pretty good record against Crag in general. Yeah. But in the past, in the past couple couple weeks, probably month, uh, Red Chains has been beating Rendered Spy in a couple sets, on a couple online sets. Yeah. I mean, we've also seen... um. But I mean, uh, one of the main things I'm interested about is because the trick that Rendered Spy had that worked against SNC, like 
Like the bash tech? Yeah. Uh, he tests that on Red Chains. Red Chains oh. is very aware of it, and from what I was hearing before, he actually has a way to avoid it. Oh, okay. Getting these players all slotted in. Uh, this is still loses semis. Yep. And it's rendered spy. All right. See what these plays can do. They are. Uh, oh, we, we. Okay. Great thing about Rivals of Ether. So many te technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> I mean, look, it wasn't as bad as Espionage 2 when Hammond oh uninstalled the game <laughs> mid bracket. So I don't know how he did it, but he did. The man. He's man. a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> He's losing, he will uninstall the game mid set. Oh, <laughs> don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Espionage yeah, 2. 2, Hammond was playing. I think he was in advantage actually at the time, but he uninstalled rivals. He it uh, crashed he, he and was he a little upset. I don't um, know how he did it. They were just playing, and then the next second it was uninstalled. It was on like it was on Rendered's computer yeah. at his house. <laughs> it, it was great. There was a lot of confusion. We don't yeah. know how Hammond did it, but I mean his hand powers is hand just you know we, you don't mess with it. <laughs> right, these guys getting all set in with their controls. Keyboard difficulties hopefully won't won't be too much of a trouble. And it's by looking at his phone, scrolling through mm. Twitter. <laughs> no, just just looking for the inspiration from Twitter. Just you know those random yeah. quotes that make him realize, damn, I'm actually a good person in this world. And then going in and beating Let's Red Chains. Red Chains versus Rendered Spy. This is this is gonna be this will be a set. This will be a set and a half. Oh well, I mean Red Chains really slow. Rendered Spy really fast. Red so Chains best up and come best up-and-comer play we've seen oh in yeah. quite a while. I mean, we just saw Conga walk through just <laughs> in the cam to the side, dressed up, looking fine today. <laughs> Conga, Conga uh, entered in himself into the, uh, into the, um, it's called cosplay contest yeah. at BAM. I don't know, I don't know how he did. He I mean, up look, I'm just character. saying, not only did I get started on, he was wearing that costume. <laughs> so it's a set to look back at. Ooh. I don't know what that is. We have just been a gold medal has been set on our <laughs> table. Nice and safe. I don't know. I, we better not touch that in case we get yeah. in trouble. Alright, okay. Yep. yep. Okay. There it is. Alright, so this is our last set on comms. Oh, we're doing we're doing bands. Alright. Oh okay, we're into it. So we're seeing yeah, rent uh swap the colours. Swap what? Uh we gotta swap the colours. Oh we have to swap the colours. No, Oh my goodness. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Ah, yes. All right. Going into go. game one, Power of Heaven. Power of Heaven. This is a uh, Jack liked this stage. Rendered, rendered is a is a fan. Uh, this is his, this is probably his favorite stage in the game, which I'm surprised Red Chains let him let him take to. But, Something uh, I do want to mention that just occurred to me: Red Chains has outplaced SNC. Yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. SNC hmm. just ran into some some unlikely opponents and. Uh, yeah, they but also to be fair, uh, SNC hasn't played in a while. Oh, but that there might we be go. Death. Oh, he oh but he, he teched tech it. That. That's incredible. I did not think he was going to be able to tech that. He looked too far away from the wall, but good stuff from him. Good but parry. Nice parry. See what he can do with it. God, these plays are so exciting to watch. Mm. And oh. a nice parry. Oh, Rendon's nurse. just waiting. Ooh. He's just baiting out what Red Change is having, but no quite punish from it. On. I think he was trying oh, to go for the bash really again, and there yeah. we go. There we Purple did 88. Let's God go, man. Crag. Let's go, Crag. Crag, the best character in Rivals of Ether, everyone. <laughs> if only that was true. <laughs> 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 what it was, we would be. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that might be But death. there we yeah. go, yeah. Up smash. Good up stuff smash, carrying Randy. all the way up to the top, and then releasing is such a strong move. Yeah. That's a, it's, it's a really, really strong move. It's kind of hard to hit those. Hip hitbox ain't huge, and of the <laughs> big reads. Not paying off. Nice jab check from Ronda. Not quite going for a committal option because, I mean, that's one thing Red Chains is really good at. Getting his parry timings down for his opponent extremely quickly. Oh, okay. Here we go. This edge guard reset to neutral. What can Ronda do with it? Dash attack fair. Up it, up it. Oh, oh misses the bash. No. That was, that was a send shaking moment. his head. But, I mean, look, he can come back from this. He has before. Yeah, Ori, getting that bash is often really specific mm. and uh, tough to get. 
Hopefully he can take the stock though and not rely on up air as a kill move as it's not the strongest thing. Oh, oh my god, there's a pillar. Oh, wow. no, oh, never mind. Red Chains has landed on stage. Red Chains is still crazy high percent. But Rendered has got to make this stock count. This should there, be we go. there we go. Up air killing. Thank God. <laughs> At 173, launching him straight down onto Red Chains. Red Chains expecting it and a punishing, but Rendered is now sending him back off stage. This is where Rendered excels, is the is the stage carries and the just launching you off stage. Oh, but what a beautiful sign charge. The and also, I do want to mention, even with the SD, we are back to oh! even an unfortunate DI. Wow. That's a, that's a, that's a mix-up there. That's the, uh, the bash mix-up. If yeah. you DI out and they go for bash, you just, like, yeah. the both... Yeah, D I L out, up here, you're dead. D I in, oh, wow. bash, you're dead. And we're going, uh, oh, no. no, we're going straight uh, into are. Jules Vale. They might not be doing bands. Uh, Red Change is not too fussed about stages. Yeah. And I think that's probably Crag. Yeah. It's just, Crag is good on so many stages. Name Although bad one Crag I know he will never go on is Burning, well, sorry, Blazing Hideout. Oh, Blazing, yeah. Not a fan. Oh, wait, no, oh, wait. that's yeah. wrong. Yeah, wrong one. <laughs> Oh, going straight in, and we're seeing Red at 94% and being carried. Ooh, nice a air dodge to uh, avoid the up smash. Yeah, Craig so scary with so much kill power. And the pillar just stuffing him out. Oh, oh so close nearly. to a really good conversion. And there, there we go. Uh, punishing accordingly. What a nice whip. Well, so, yeah, just punishing the end lag. <laughs> oh, the pillar. And we're seeing Red Change just continuing. Oh, oh what a bash for the rock. rock. He this is this is why Ori does so well in this matchup. Ori just steals rock from Yeah. It's Krag. like it's the only character in the game, apart from the Crag Ditto, that can actually use rock against Crag. That's uh well not quite a couple characters can move it around with their moves. Like uh Rasta Downer can move it. Oh it and, can, uh, alright. Cape can move it, Shovel Knight can move it with down tilt. Oh, oh no! unfortunate SD. We're oh, currently seeing Red Chains that is, That's tragic. So if he keeps com Keeps composed, takes his stock early. He might be able to do something with it. Swing the momentum back in his favor. Good bash. Or oh, he's he's looking for like a back air or something. Yeah, Brennan's looking for kill setups. There, up. We, there go. we go. Just Good a knife would punish. Pull out on the nair. Good stuff from him. Oh, there we go. we go. We're seeing immediate. Just carry. I mean, again, just seeing the momentum from Brennan's spy. Rendon, he'll, he'll get one hit and he'll take an absolute mile. That's not quite the saying, but it, it'll, it works. Yeah. Uh, and we're again, oh, see that Sasha oh, on that guy wow. out, and he's already back in this. Render Spy is looking so strong. Red Chain's not happy with that. Oh, this could be big though. Big forward smash. Hopefully an edge guard. Oh, unfortunately, um, just missing the parry from a whiff, but oh well. We're seeing Rendon at 97, a fair. Good recovery could very though. easily take this. Oh, this is, this is tense. Good break on the rock. That could have been dangerous. And nice parry. And we're seeing Red, uh, red Chains off stage, and oh, we're seeing that Bash. Oh, that could be oh the start. Oh, my God. That could oh be the Oh, my God. God. Wow. Red and Spy. What a clip. There that is go. insane. God what a damn. Player. Holy. That was so sick. He did that on his last stock of the game. Bro, he had no fear. I thought he was about to SD, Whoa. but he just took that. God damn. Holy. Actually, that was a reverse that three stock, and we're, we're straight into Merchant Port. Rendered Spy. Holy moly. I, actually, I don't just point out, funnily enough, that was up here to down air. That's crazy. That's not a, a, a common conversion, but he got it, and that was so hype. That was this so far, clean. This far into the tournament in losers, last stock. He, he, he had no it. fear. No fear. Oh, okay. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> okay. That was a little close. Getting a little bit brave. That might be death. Oh my god, the carries. He is Red going Chains insane. He's not DIing up and in on those up airs. He's Unfortunately, just not. In. He needs to do something about that. Yeah, I mean, it's getting him, it's like allowing Run to get such like early kills that he shouldn't be getting because, as we all know, up air is not a kill move. <laughs> Guys, up air is not a kill move. Come on. There we go. The oh, nice this, bash this to catch. Big, this is just keep going. Sorry, he's oh, just Rendon not is, stopping. He's rolling with it. Red Chains. Oh, oh, the tech. Oh, okay, and then okay. we go to the F smash. 93. Red Chains, let's see what he can do with with this little bit of, little bit of, I don't know, momentum, I guess. I mean, he is going insane right now. Like, this is scary. Like, if you're on the other side of the, like, if, again, just being oh Red Chains God. right now, unfortunate Red, DI. Rendered Spy is looking so good in this game. A, a lot of unfortunate things happening to Red Chains, though. 
But I mean, I, I just want to mention, if you're on the other side of this, just walking out what Red Chains is doing, this is just oh, this an could be ouch. Big. This could be really big. If he gets this edge guard. Oh, the movement! Oh my god! Oh, oh, my, oh god! my god! Oh, it's so tense. He, Brendan's mix-up have been insane today. We are seeing him They've go so incredible. strong. Okay. And there we go. Last and time. Now it's, it's even. It's even. He has clawed his way back. That is really. I mean, good Red stuff Change has got to find an opening here. He can't let Render keep running away with it because, again, we've just seen Render take as one interaction and just carry to the other side of the stage. And it becomes an edge guard. And the edge guard turns into a stock. And it might, right here, turn into a set. Oh, my goodness. Rendered looking. He's looking so good. He's been playing so well this mm. tournament. Oh, this could be it. 102% off stage. Oh, there we go. Oh, Bash with the pillar. Oh, this is... Oh, this, this, is, this might be it. The charge up smash. Yeah. There we go. Amazing stuff. Rendered Spy takes that 3-0. 3-0. Rendered Spy now in God loser's finals. Damn. No, he's not. Wait. Oh, wait, no, sorry. No, loser's semi-final. That was loser's quarters final. We had loser's semis the whole time. Oh, no. Oh, very oh, sorry. Oh, whoops. All right. Well, that's a shame. Anyway. Anyway, uh, now we'll be losing winners, semis. No, we're doing winner's finals yeah. now. Oh no! I think we're off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we're okay. doing we're doing winners finals. Oh okay. I should uh, change this back. Right. Okay. Yeah, we'll be we'll be changing off in a sec just after we get all of this prepared. All right. Winners. Now we have finals. Jet versus Osu. Ooh, two veteran players. This is gonna be an interesting one. Again, Osu, highly mental player. Wait, are you on that sir? Okay. Who's okay. Really comfortable to stay on the I don't mind. Do you yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy with either way. So. All right. Uh, all right. Hold on. Uh. Uh, what do we want to do? I <laughs> don't. Don't mind. Uh. Paper scissors rock board. All right. Okay. All shoot. Right. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Rock paper scissors shoot. All right. Okay. Too good. All right. I'm off. Thanks, Jerry. All right. No Thank you, Jerry. Well, hello. All right, he's back in the hot seat. <laughs> so we did have Lichko coming on for top four. Uh, okay, not yep. quite ready yet. He's still yep. playing Dragon Ball Fighters, but that's okay. We're going to hold down the fort here and get back into winners finals. It seems. Yeah. Jet versus Osu. How are you feeling for this one? I mean, it's a staple in the Victorian scene. Oh yeah. I'd, I'd love to see it. <laughs> You can see I'm kind of warming up at yeah. the moment, so I'll transition into that. Yeah. Also, uh, you're still able to cherry, just so you know. Sorry? Oh, uh, your common name, still cherry. Yeah, I'm going to change that okay, now. Yeah, cool. <laughs> can only do so much, you know. I can be cherry if I want to be cherry. I think you can. <laughs> <laughs> see, the big difference here is that we got Osu's POM, though. Yeah. So I actually, I don't know how much of POM Jet's played against. Mm. I know he's played quite a bit of POM himself. Yeah. But yeah, the Rasta Pom matchup, it's not something I'm very familiar with. Yeah. Um, it's something that I'm really interested to see. I also don't know how uh, Osu's going to deal with it, because I don't know how much uh, Rasta he's actually played against as Pom. Yeah, I, I, I feel like Pom definitely has the tools to get around yeah. a lot of you know, Rasta's mobility and like a general mid-air jumps and things like that. That float is a very powerful ability. Oh, yeah. Um, so really interested to see how Osu kind of makes use of those tools over the course of... Uh, of this set, you know? And for game one, Tower of Heaven. So just a reminder for the folks at home, we are playing on the last patch, so not the new one that released just today. So only some minor changes, but yeah, not the uh, the full changes that uh, Pom received this morning. Hmm. You can see how powerful that dash attack is. I could yeah, see it's, it's using it in similar move. ways in yeah, previous I mean, sets. We, yeah, we saw him versus Rendered just that initial three dash attack right off the yep. gate, and it already just sent Rendered off stage. And there we go, Ooh. nice up here to take it. <laughs> That's a really strong start for Osu. Oh, yeah. I mean, also we're just seeing again the flow off stage to get uh, just back away from Jet. Yeah. I mean, Jet's someone who's played against a lot of um, heavy characters in his yeah. time, really experienced in that. I don't know if he has much experience playing against the lighter cast. Yeah. Uh, Pom, Pom is quite light. Uh, you know, we have Ori players mm. in Australia, but we don't have many Arbses, for example. Yeah. Not many other Rasters that Jet can play against. So yeah. it, it's interesting to see 
the wrestler against a lot of character like Palm as well. Yeah, I mean, he seems to be doing quite fine because he's already taken a stock. And I mean, knowing Jet and how good he is, I wouldn't be surprised if we see adaptation very quickly. Yeah, it's just that combo chain is going to be a little bit different. So mm. potentially a couple straight hits that Osu might be able to get out of that otherwise he wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able mm. to. <laughs> Again, we're just seeing more dash attacks than off stage. I mean, that that projectile is quite silly. <laughs> mm. It covers so much of the stage. Uh, there we go, though. We see an immediate comeback from Jet. Yeah, so long as he keeps finding those openings, he only needs a couple linking hits and yeah, four the eye on one, and that's all it really takes with with Rasta, you know. Yeah. God, that dash attack is so strong and a fair <laughs> to push him further off stage. Oh, forward tilt not quite connecting. Osu getting back on stage. Nice parry on the slipstream. He's been doing well of dealing yeah. with it so far. I mean, a game on the board. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, against Jet, that's nothing short of impressive. <laughs> I mean, Jet is our first seed for this tournament. Mm. Uh, but again, Osu, first time he's really brought the palm out in a big yeah. way in this, this tournament today. Has been practicing a lot. I believe. There's a lot of yeah. setups that he's been trying to sort of work on. Yeah. I Doesn't mean, take these players long to get back into another game, does it? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I think Osu was mentioning he hasn't practiced for ages, but he came in a few days before BAM, and yeah. he's already playing so well. I mean, he'd made the decision to swap the POM pretty much as soon as she released in the workshop yeah. back, you know? It's not consistent practice, but there has been long-term thoughts over some of this. I wouldn't be surprised if he's been thinking about how he can best use some of her, her tools and options. Yeah. It's interesting to think how good Vince is in this matchup with Slipstream. Oh, yeah. I mean, are we just seeing, like, a, a well against Renda as well? Just the Yo, it just use of Vince. rips away the projectiles. Yeah. But having Slipstream be removed by something that you can sort of get out, I think it's frame 9 that Vince becomes active. Oh, wow. Alright. But, I mean, yeah. As well with rendered earlier, we were seeing a lot of stage control use for Vince. Yes, just yeah. Cutting off the bottom platforms, forcing Rendered into certain situations that were just so hard to deal with. But I think it's a tool that Osu can be using. Really well done using that platform there. Yeah. I think Vince is a tool that Osu can be using in the edge guard as well, because it does prevent Jet from being able to use Slipstream in his recovery in certain situations. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. unfortunate. See, I, I don't think he was too happy there that was that was definitely an intentional SD he wanted yeah. to move on to the next game yeah that's, that's just already my feeling that's for Osu like this is going extremely well to his side <laughs> apologies folks forgetting to update the scores <laughs> that's entirely my bad <laughs> now I'm curious what stage is oh we're going right in of oh, the force burn switch yeah potentially he wasn't feeling the Rasta and just wanted to get out of there, swap over to something a little bit different. I mean, we've all seen it before. Jet um, definitely has a Force Burn, and it's still a very big threat. It's not one we see at tournaments very often, though. Mm. I know that he used it sparingly in RCS, mm. um, mostly for fun, honestly. Yeah. Uh, he really enjoys playying Force Burn. It yeah, I mean, you can see why essentially, it's such a fun Essentially character. is a co-main for Jet yeah. in some ways, although you don't see it very often. Yeah, I mean, he definitely very well knows the character because, I mean, as you said, he we saw him use it in RCS for fun. Like, he not only does he enjoy the character, which, I, I mean, I completely understand why Force Burn is such fluid, <laughs> like, combo game, but it's also just, uh, he's so comfortable with the character as well. Yeah, of I course. mean, just like that, immediately taking the first stock. May I say immediately, with a minute <laughs> in? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think just changing the tempo of a set is a really big mm. thing. So if he takes away this game, oh my god, the dash attack actually killed. Yeah. Even if he takes away this game, I, I don't know if long term the force burn will be something he sticks with or not, or if he's just trying to change up the tempo, really force Osu to adapt to something and yeah. get caught off guard by it, you know? Yeah, I mean, it definitely seems to be working out quite well from, wasn't quite expecting such a strong opening from the force burn, I think, either. Like, I think Osu was just mainly preparing for the Rasta, this whole set. Yeah, just didn't yeah. think of any option for a Force Bird come out. It's funny to think about. Uh, Palm's recovery doesn't have a lot of disjoint. A lot mm. of characters can deal with it quite easily. Uh, Rasta's tools to deal with it 
I feel like I almost is a little bit limited just because he don't hit below the stage. Yeah, like actually. Down till I, I think mean, the hurt box extends a little bit. I don't know if that kind of works. Yeah, I mean, also Paulsman, on the other hand, it's really easy to think about how those tools come into play in edge guarding Palm. Mm. I mean, the downer would be so effective against the field as well as just coming yeah, up. Yeah, stuff like that I'm thinking about. And mm. hey, maybe Jet's thinking about that as well because yeah. he's, he's on the board. Yeah, I mean, going from obviously feeling very uncomfortable just with how the matchup's working to taking a game <laughs> as comfortably as that. Yeah, you could see Osu, he's kind of looking at the heavens, you know, his yeah. eyes up in the air. Yeah, <laughs> just thinking. Not, not quite an eye roll, <laughs> but oh, he's, he's thinking about it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not something he was expecting. Maybe caught him off guard. Something, as you were saying before, with um, how Rasta would edge guard Pom, like that downstrong we see a lot at ledge, which becomes so strong if you're not ready to tech it, that is less effective against Pom, because Pom can easily just weave in and out. Yeah, of course. Float, obviously being such a powerful tool. <laughs> Interesting to think about Aeromata. I know it's a traditionally, it's actually quite a good pause burn stage to my knowledge. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I can also see why the field would be so effective on this stage. Yeah, yeah. Because you no longer need the sidewall to get back, you still comfortably have um, options. I feel like both characters don't lose much by having the, the stage not extend down to the bottom like it does normally. Yeah, I mean, uh, we all know Force Burn with the pineapple as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> and a hey. nice back air. Potentially a really insightful character swap from Jet so far. Mm, I mean... Wasn't feeling the, the raster, he just got out of there and... I think it's also a bit foreign to have a character that can deal with Rasta so strongly in the air as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, just because, as you mentioned, the strength of the float is incredible, and especially well, yeah, if Rasta whips an aerial, Pom's there floating, ready to position herself. Mm. That is obviously the the greatest strength of the character so far, mm. or at least the most obvious one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this has been dominant from Jet so far. Oh, it has. Game. It just seems the options, and the, I think one of the main things is the range that Forsburn has in comparison to Pom. Yeah. Look, he's not going for the extended strings or anything. Mm. He's, he's playing slow, playing patient, yeah. but he's just being smart about his yeah. openings, and he's managed to rack up a bit of percent now. And I think against a player like Osu, that is ever more important, just to be aware of the options you have. Yeah, absolutely. This is actually one of the rare situations where I think the character picks rules may come into effect. Mm. Oh, wow. With that win, Jet has to lock in his character first. Does that not give Osa the opportunity to go for the counter pick and go Maple? It does, which might... Oh, we're Do just going straight into it. Do you think he would consider it? Oh. Uh, no, just went straight into it. Something I honestly want to see, the Osu Maple come out. Although Jet, I think main the reason why is because earlier Jet and Osu were talking and we were just saying you better not swap to Maple <laughs> or you are the biggest loser. <laughs> Here he is swapping to, to Fallsburn. <laughs> yeah. Rather ironic, but you know. The Rasta switch was never defined. <laughs> but yeah, Jet seeming much more comfortable in a much better just headspace right now. Just nodding <laughs> his head. Definitely feeling it right now. I thought we were going to go straight back into the game, but we are we are circling. <laughs> mm. Just thinking about where he's going to go. Oh my goodness. What do you think would be a good stage for this one? Uh, let's let's look at the stage bands really quickly. Rock wall, spirit tree, triple pond. Okay. <laughs> they get to it too Big. quickly. <laughs> yeah. this, I think this is a bit more of an interesting one, because isn't this a traditionally good stage for uh, full spin? Um... Oh, look, I'm not so sure about that. I I feel like the extra space in the Blast Zones allows Pom to sort of go deeper, especially with oh, the yeah. Harmony Field and things like that mm. as well. So it's really hard to dictate what would be good yeah. in this I mean, matchup. But and especially being such a new character. Though. Yeah, I, well, I mean, we're, we're early in the meta. Mm. I mean, because it's only been recently that the Workshop characters were allowed in Rivals Mages, so we haven't really seen much of top-level adaptation to the characters. Yeah, I mean, this is the first big tournament where they're legal. 
Um, we've had them legal at some amateur level events, but mm. none of the professional circuit events. So uh, we haven't had like an RCS yeah. style event or anything like that yet. Uh, Bam's the first real opportunity we've had to see these characters in action. And a nice down, uh, down smash chase and then just quick unfortunate DI to take the stock. Yeah, we did see some Molo, some Olympia earlier. Mm. Obviously Osu, with his palms, made it into top four already. Mm. Well, top three, really. Guaranteed yeah. top three placing. And they got, I mean, Osu's definitely worked something out because he's made this, kept this even. And, I mean, right now it's game five, so this is where <laughs> it really starts to matter the adaptations. Well, forcing Jet to swap off Rasta, mm. that's almost unheard of. Yeah, that's... I mean, yeah, as you said, it, it doesn't happen often, if ever. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> it's really the basic things with just how, how Float interacts with the game. It's yeah. so interesting having characters with these new mechanics come in and change up higher matchups and yeah. the way you think about rivals as a whole. I mean, we, we've seen multiple uh, new characters being able to throw out multiple projectiles as, at once. Oh, goodness. Of the new ones. So, bombs and notes, Molo's bombs. Yep. I see went a little bit deep off the, the edge guard there, and I think he's really paying for it now. Mm. Needs to find his footing back on center stage. Yeah, at 150%, this is... And there we go, just a quick down smash will take that. Yep. Felt like he had some ground with the, the notes charge and getting Vince out, but Jet was just able to take advantage of that and actually setting up smoke, which is interesting. I wasn't sure what he was going to do with the full charge. I mean, yeah, Osu did seem a little bit early for that to come into effect, but I mean, if he can make it work, then it'll be something to see. Look, Jet does have another stock in the bank, so any extra percent that he deals now is well and truly worth it, but Osu quickly dealing with that situation. I mean, yeah, uh, seeing the notes again, just cover what um, Jet is, just pushing him back a little bit to allow some yeah. room to get on stage. What makes me feel like that charge earlier could have been used for a combustion, a super clone, something mm. like that. It felt like using it for the neutral special was maybe a bit of waste with how mm. high percent Jet was already at. Yeah. Oh, that back air. Oh, unfortunate DI, but uh, the float. Not enough. Ooh. Oh, but the catch in purple. There we go. Jet takes game five. Well done to Jet, a great catch. <laughs> Alright, well Lichko is now here. So I will... Yeah, yeah we'll get Lichko in. Alright, I will now take my leave. Oh, uh, hello! Give me the screen. <laughs> Matchups. Matchups. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks very well, much to Frost and Pyro. We're going to have Lichko in for top three. Yeah, well thank you for having me. I'll see you guys, well I mean I won't see you guys, but I'll see the stream <laughs> in a sec. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hello, hello. The man, the myth, the legend. I'm here. What a busy day for you, my friend. Oh, man. So, yeah. I mean, in the morning, Rivals of Aether, of course. Uh, at the same time as Guilty Gear Strive. <laughs> um, I just went way further than I thought I would in, like, all of these brackets. Oh, my God. You can hear the crag in the background. <laughs> hey, man, doing his stuff, man. All right. Are you ready for a crag, Ditto? Oh, awesome. It's, it's all been crag for you today, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> this, this character's going to haunt me, man. <laughs> i gotta, I got to learn this matchup, that's for sure. <laughs> really nice of IDK to pop up earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the way from New Zealand, man. Oh, sorry, it's not... Oh, my... I'm not sure why I put crag. <laughs> I was oh thinking, yeah, that's yeah, it's rendered spy. It's not. <laughs> it's not red chains. <laughs> that's just embarrassing from my part. Alright, but we're getting into this now. Uh, Hamman is already in a pretty bad position, man. I mean, I mean, we've seen rendered. Oh. Previously, was having a lot of trouble dealing with that wall pillar recovery, but the way he's dealt with it today, you can tell that he's been thinking about that. He's actually, he's actually on on a bunch of discords. He's been saying. Guys, I figured out yeah, this I've got the, the secret sh the, the secret badge. Then he actually whips it out and he... <laughs> <laughs> doing work, man. Yeah. Doing Beats well. SNC. Yeah. Beats Red Chains. He's only got one more crag on the you know the hit list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he beats all three, that'll be an achievement. Oh, definitely. Especially since this is a matchup that has plagued him for such a long time. What I an mean, achievement it would be. Yeah, you're right. I, his, historically, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> historically, Handman has uh, has definitely been very difficult for Renard Spy to, to beat. 
Uh, definitely a lot of torments I've run, Handman just pops off on Rendered Spy. <laughs> I mean, okay. locals and mages, they're a different beast entirely, and... I'm feeling it. Yeah, I, I don't want to discount Handman, though, because the way he was playing earlier against mm -hmm. Jet, like, what, what a showing from him. Last hit, essentially. But you can see that Render has potentially got the advantage so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tough position right now. Oh, <laughs> wow. I'm surprised that back air missed. That was close. Oh, oh down special's not what you want to see there. Yeah, I, I think he needs to play the zoning game a little bit more. I haven't seen a lot of rocks coming out. I think he just needs to slow himself down a little bit too. This is mm. too much oh. like, acting immediately. So Render's been doing a good job of covering okay. that with Sign as well. Good pairing on that. We're going oh. for it. Another up air. So we're not going to get the full edge guard, but definitely forced him off stage. And the percent is racking up. We can get something big here. Oh, no, he didn't get the enhanced. Okay. He's going to get him Might here. Going yes. Oh, yeah, the back air off of the pillar. <laughs> wow. Raided Spy taking game one against Handman. Is this a winner's finals? Uh, we're on the loser's side. Yeah, hold, oh. uh, hold on, hold on. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say you rendered Spy and Handman in winner's finals. That is it's crazy. crazy. It's wild. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, loser's finals almost as crazy. Both of these guys have it's been doing It's not losers' well. finals, is it? It's losers' semis. <laughs> oh my god. Losers' semis. I'm going to lose my job. An I, I, another step below the, the craziness. Please don't tell my boss. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I don't have the contacts to do that. This is why we need a stream runner. <laughs> I don't actually watch the sets. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, we got some booze coming out. All right, we're getting into it now. I'll uh, we'll see if Rendered Spy can keep up this momentum. Um, I mean, Handman, okay, the rocks are good. Smaller stage with tree top. Uh, Handman, if he gets the aggression on, could find something here, but. Oh, good bash on that rock to get back with the parry into the F smash. I do worry this stage like this that Rendered Spy will have an easier time edge guarding though. You know, uh, less stage floor to cover. Oh no, oh, oh no. Okay, that down there was a big mistake. It's going to be costly, but Parry could seal it up if he can get something here. Okay. There, up air, fair. Killer's going to come fair. into play. Gets oh it the up God. air here. Where's the bash? Where's the content? It's not not over just yet. Oh, he's got the pillar. If, oh, could have been a kill off the top. Oh. Okay. All right. Jabbing back. We're, we're, we're in it. Hamman is back. Where are we going? Well, where's Sign going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Forge Strong does it. Not quite the perfect die you want. Okay. Oh my, Hammond's got to extend these combos, man. He's he's got the right ideas, but the accuracy is just a tiny bit off. And rendered slowly racking up that damage. Oh, waiting him out for the parry at all. Oh my god. That was so clean, so clean. The rendered spy tick. I mean, that's that's an adaptation on an adaptation. You know, he, he knew that Handman was ready for the bash, so he waited him out for the parry. Yeah, the F tilt was, was was nice, man. The F tilt was perfect. I just have never seen Rendered Spy approach this matchup with such confidence before. Mm. Like, this is not the player we were seeing at Locals, you know. Oh, no, that's Earlier this year, espionage, things like that. Yeah. Well, it's good, man. He's been on the grind and, and definitely one of the players in the scene who's been uh, one of the most motivated to just keep on playing, keep on grinding. Um, good to see now, those what, what it is, it's off. that TO energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last person to win a BAM. I... Well, I can't remember if it was me or Jet. How far back does it go? Oh, look, I'll, for the story's sake, I'll <laughs> say it was me. But, okay. you know, <laughs> last person to win a BAM was a TO, so... Got to gotta sneak that in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was me, SNC. Yep. I'm Seventh place. now. Seventh place, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I only placed one one placement lower than the SNC. The SNC. I'm getting into but this Forget now. about the SNC. I want to watch the Rendered Spy. <laughs> Let's see it. Uh, triple Pawn. What do you think of this stage? I think it's Ori's best. Uh, it is a good stage, uh, extending off there, but... Crag does have some neat things with the rock off the side platforms. Um, I feel like Ori can kind of negate it with Bash at certain points. Yeah, I feel like when somebody gets hit 
once in this stage, Ooh. they are going to be going on a ride. Yeah, um, both platforms, so. the large platforms, make it really difficult to uh, get out of disadvantage sometimes. It's really hard to stay grounded on this stage as well because you don't have those short plats to escape to unless you're already in the corner. It makes that wide space in the center of the stage. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the sour up smash nearly, nearly doing some work there, but we're back on stage now, back to this neutral. Yeah, that, that space in the middle, as I was saying, it makes it really hard to defend for the crag, but the mm -hmm. Ori, that's the space you want to be in. Yeah, 100%. I mean, when you have access to those, those platforms, and you just... You know, you layer off the top of them. Oh yeah, my god, the double bash. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Hamman, hey nice. Gets a tech chase. Try to extend this oh, lead. Oh, big fair. Yeah, hits him. The oh. rock. Oh, not fair, not quite connecting. Had the right idea, but just not close enough. Yeah, Hamman hey looking to take oh, something, I man. He's got to do something. Okay, I don't think Render Despire was expecting the wall jump. I think he was trying to double <laughs> jump and he just ended up on the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny. Okay. Oh, Hammond, he's, he's really fishing for these, these up smash. Okay. Oh my god. Where are we going? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what a way to get that kill. Using All the right. stun from the pillar. Only the first stock for Render Despire coming in at almost the two minute mark, so. Hammond's built up quite a lead, and if he gets a downstroke sure. here, yeah, easy. That will take the stock. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Ori things. Ori things are happening. Just a lot of pressure from Rendits by now. He's done a great really job. Really trying to make up for that deficit that he's got going. Hammond's got to be committing to some, some neutral mix-ups in order to uh, call him out on this movement. Because yeah. the movement is real right now. Rendered by is just moving in between those hitboxes, not getting hit. Oh, wow! <laughs> and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Call out that movement when he's coming into your zone. Oh, oh big parry. I think he was trying to potentially read the parry, but Render delayed it a little bit. Oh, I'm not sure about the down strong there yeah. with the ball. Look, it gets the damage uh, up, but it's not what you need at this stage. You need to take that stock. Yeah, ab uh, absolutely, man. Oh, okay. We're going onto the platform in the fort air. Hamman staying alive in the set. Rendered Spy really doing him a favor with that DI. <laughs> <laughs> you would love to see you love to see the BAM finalist. Yeah. yeah. I, I could see the sigh of relief <laughs> as that, that kill came up, you know. <laughs> Hamman. I think he was really stressing there. <laughs> yeah, I mean you lose to the TO. I oh mean, yeah, embarrassing. <laughs> you can't let that happen. It's not even his job to win. I was actually talking to, to Handman about stage bands earlier. I suggested that Spirit Tree was one potentially to watch for. But he's, he's let it go. Mm. Didn't catch the bands this time. Um, I'm wondering well, what he Important what he to note, first place. time Reddit Spy's got a counter pick and he's gone straight for Spirit Tree. Yeah, home field advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bash is coming out. Hey. Chasing on the platform of the parry. All right, getting this up tilt. How will he continue this pressure? Wow. No stun there. I feel like this stage can be scary for the Aura player in some ways because you are dying off the top so so much earlier. So straight up here from the crag here it would be enough. Even those forward airs, like, he wasn't Oh my god. too close to the stage Jesus. there, but it almost killed him. Okay, big up smash. Uh, yeah, up strong will do, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Forget what I was saying. Okay, Hammond has Oh, he's got it. Oh, Get out of there. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Get the hell out of oh, there. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That's so cheeky. Uh, he's not going to get him this time. Oh, missed opportunity from Handman. Could have got the kill, I think. Wow, doesn't get the full chase for the, the tech. Taking outwards. Keeping himself safe. And, oh. Yeah, I will say that Rendered Spy's new strategy, although really smart, if he mistimes it even slightly, you can mm. see there's a lot of risk involved in that way. So. Yeah, absolutely. That's why there needs to be mix-ups on that. Yeah, I, I mean, Renard Spy is a player I feel like has str who has struggled with adaptation a little bit. Um, it is time playing rivals, but it looks like he's really done some great work in trying to fix that. Oh god, <laughs> Jesus. Well, I mean, he's still in the lead. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. You never want to. He just, just giving it away. It doesn't need it. We'll see the rock coming out. 
Oh, big fair. Hey, and it's by, he's getting away with those projectiles and he's recoveries quite a bit. That little forward special from the wall. Yeah. It's something that you can kind of deal with pretty easily with Craig if you can just time the fair because you can mm -hmm. beat out the wall jump that way as well. Ooh. But I feel like Handman's not taking advantage of that in any way. Uh -huh. hey. Oh my god. All right, Rendered by taking the lead now. Yeah, uh, tournament stock a gang for him, man. Familiar situation. Oh my god, the fair! <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta keep it simple. You are there, here are my feet. Yeah, Handman does need to take another <laughs> game from behind here. Okay. Him with the oh, bop, bop, bop. A bit costly, a couple missed opportunities to parry there. Oh. <laughs> All right. The commentator's curse coming I'm, out. I'm not sure what's happening here. They're just kind of slowing down. And <laughs> <laughs> They're scrapping, man. Yeah. Playing scared. Oh, oh my god, please! Oh, he was, he was trying for it. <laughs> Damn. That would be that would be a pretty stylish way to end it. Oh, I think he's oh. got him here. Oh, uh, no sign charge. Didn't try to go for a bash or anything, but... If you can get the edge guard, it can be big here. It lands on the pillar. Really big. Oh, Damn, man. wow. That was a huge fair. Makes it back. That could have been it. Another edge guard situation here. Oh, head dodge not helpful. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't just go for the platform there. Oh, going for the break cancel. Ren is by ready for it. Not sure why he waited to potentially snipe him out, but Hammond. Oh my god, he's stage. in this! Okay, the side B into the up strong. Not gonna be enough. Hammond! He's oh, chasing! Oh, big on the shards. Oh, he's oh like my <laughs> god, he let him get away with that. Are you serious? He's gonna get him. Oh, he. he so scared of getting okay. parried there. I oh, big fair. That's not it yet. The rock shards. Okay, the rock's coming go. out. Oh, Goes for a rock. Up rock. tilt. Oh. Okay, fairing the shards. Oh my god, that is bad. <laughs> All right, not using the pillar, so he's still got one at his disposal. And oh. Oh, and there it is. Rendered Spy is taking it. 3 1 over Handman. This is the furthest I think we've ever seen Rendered Spy come in such a huge tournament. He's got, a, he's got a podium place finish. He's in the money today. That's awesome. <laughs> Was hoping to My see more God. of the, the pop-off, but, you know, Rendered's gone for a walk, gone for a wander. <laughs> Rendered, Rendered, get over here. <laughs> Rendered Spy. You're my hero. <laughs> Rendered Spy. He's not listening to me. That's okay. What he does need to listen to is he, he oh. needs to listen to himself here because he's got a big challenge coming up. Listen to the heart. That's what you need to do. Well, yeah. <laughs> also, in the, also in the next set. Yeah. With the pom coming up, he has to dig deep for this one because Osu's pom was what knocked Rendered Spy into loser's bracket in this top 12 earlier today. I see, yeah. I, I mean, and by the looks of the bracket, it was a close set. Yeah, well, a game five situation. Um... I mean, there were some moments that Osu looked really dominant, mm -hmm. but uh, Rendered Spy actually had the lead in that game five, and yeah. a, a fortunate SD just it meant happens. that it went Osu's way in the end. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, it's, I would it's hope Rendered Spy doesn't have it on his mind, though. It's always interesting when you have the PR player coming up against, you know, the... The young gun, the not the so The not-so-PR player. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Rendered's been working at this for such a long time now. I'd Absolutely. I'd love to see either of these players win, but, you know, it, it's the Rendered Spy story today, I think. And Osu, you know, one of my favourite individuals within the community. Oh, for sure. I mean, Absolute shout -outs, unit. I guess since we have them both on, uh, on the, <laughs> the cam now, shout-outs to both of these guys today. I mm -hmm. mean, Rendered Spy... It's a big challenge to owing a big event like this. Yeah, I mean, both um, of these guys were a huge part in this. Yeah. You know, Osu bringing all the setups and yeah, and I mean, this, this entire stream, the, all, all the overlays that have been organised, the actual setups provided by Osu, all this equipment. Um, a moment of silence for Osu's monitor. Oh my God, yeah, I, unfortunate news, but one of Osu's <laughs> monitors did not survive transportation this morning. Uh, it's unfortunate. We'll, we'll get the uh, the crowdfunding into. Get him a replacement, you know. <laughs> What's good, my man? Rivals top three right now. We're in it. <laughs> Strive commentary was sick. Good job. All right, we're still getting some hand warmers going. That's okay. <laughs> 
but well, if you had to ask me what the top three of today's bracket was going to be, I would, mm -hmm. would not have picked Random Spy being here. Yeah. I had massive upsets from him. I was like really shocking. I mean, Lichko came out to this event. Like, what's <laughs> going on? What's happening? No Lichko, no Red Chains? What's going on? But we're here now. You know. Uh, I'm sure Dust is going to hit it big in some other titles. Oh yeah, we got yeah. some. We got some Street Fighter. Commentary is where you do your best work, right? Oh, <laughs> Trash Tear <laughs> Human is an absolute god, man. He is. I think he's one of the best commentators in the world. <laughs> he is legendary. I was really hoping to get him on the rivals today, but he just didn't have a time in his uh, his busy schedule. That's a man in demand right there. <laughs> Absolutely, and he's ours. Speaking, Dust, speaking of demands, uh, demand to see the next game. Surely, surely we're thinking about it. <laughs> we're well, they're having a, a nice little, a nice little conversation. Are they doing paper, scissors, rock to decide the stage skin? Is that what I'm seeing? <laughs> 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 I think that's actually what just happened. Oh shit! Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're in it now. Oh god! I need to update the scores. Who hired this man? <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe it was rendered spy. He is the TO. Well, like I said earlier, uh, Render Spy Osu responsible for everything that happened today, even all the mistakes. Um, S and C didn't didn't, met, didn't do nothing. <laughs> just just here preaching the the Crag Bible. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, rendered. Gone for some stuff. Right. Oh, F smash. I feel like rendered was a little bit frustrated after the their last set. Mm -hmm. May have been reflecting on it. The way uh, Osu is able to stall out with float. Just means that it makes it very difficult for Rendered Spy to sort of reach for anything mm -hmm. to sort of hit him as he's falling. Yeah, interesting to see. I mean, the. Well, the back air's really big and oh. actually gets the kill. Osu said against Jet was very interesting to me. Um, of course, winning the Raster games, but, uh, you know, taking the losses from the Forest Burn. Um, so, interesting to see how Osu is feeling going into oh, this. Oh, God. But, oh. I mean, we're not dead, but oh, we are oh, dead. Never no. mind. <laughs> Risked yeah, it for the biscuit. <laughs> See, another situation where Rendered Spy was up and he just let it rip the SD. Oh! I would hate for that to be the story of the day. Rendered Spy throwing away games like that, you know? It would be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about how devastating it would be to his <laughs> mental and you're sitting here going, yeah, that would be pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm Didn't sure we could sit back and laugh at that later. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I definitely could. I mean, you're I, laughing about it now. I, I can't <laughs> Hasn't even happened myself. yet. You're already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's used up all the resources. Up special does get him back on. Yeah, but oh, I was trying to go in with these back airs. Does not manage to get the third head of that combo. He's kind of running afloat. What is he doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just got those kicks. <laughs> it's palm gaming, right? Yeah, the now. He heels are coming out. <laughs> okay, big, big charge from uh, from rendered spy. He's getting a. Few conversions here, but nice. The double up here, taking it off the top. Really big for Osu. I felt like this oh. game was oh. going around its way. Oh, my oh God. where are we going? Oh my God. Okay. Oh, we're good. With it's how many hits that was, I was expecting a lot more damage, but rendered sitting near like 47%. Wait, what? <laughs> That's. Okay. <laughs> Buff bomb. It's got to happen. That's just a light character. Oh, oh, uh, that is DLC. DLC, DLC. Oh, no. come on. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get that parry. I like how you're calling <laughs> DLC, or it is the original DLC character. You weren't here when they first released. I wasn't. I wasn't. But I'm still calling it. <laughs> I'm a man of culture. Oh, we just need one more opening rendered. Okay. Oh, big F tilt. All right, catching him, trying to come in. On the middle. Oh, my God. Oh, what a bash. <laughs> oh, my God. Rendered Spy taking the first game against Osu. Wow. What, a, what a way to get back onto the stage. Damn. <laughs> if you just skip the neutral, it just works so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and I mean, Osu nearly had it with that explosive combo if he managed to get some kind of some kind of up here or up here at the end. Yeah, there. of course. Definitely going at it really, really close. <laughs> Rendered by trying to make the upset. I can see Osu's doing his little strategy here again. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Jet in the back with the crossed arms. Yeah, he's, he's sitting here waiting. <laughs> he knows as soon as he plays grands, he can go home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back here, back here. Goes for another one. Not going to connect and also getting some damage in. We'll be lucky to get a top three photo because Jet will already be out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I do have the, uh, the first place medal here with me. Tempted to hold it up to remind these players what they're playing for here, but I think the top three too, too early. <laughs> the top three photos should just be a selfie with you guys in the back. Yeah, of course. Oh, that was cheeky. Oh. He tried to go for it. What is he doing? <laughs> is that T-Bags? Am I saying T-Bags? I don't think it was T-Bags, but I'm not sure what it was. I don't know. You know, I like the disrespect. Oh, oh nice little forward air. Yeah, catch it back. The up air. Oh. Goes with the F tilt, but the quick two piece from Osu. Taking the stop. Really punishing missing that tech read, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. I mean, that dash attack's been so big. Oh. For Osu today. You Good hate for Brendan to see it. to even up the stocks, though. You hate to see the enhanced up smash on a platform, man. Mm. I just look at that and I'm like, man. Pump is a pretty light character. I don't think it's unreasonable that it kills. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know. I see I see Ori up smash. Yeah, we, we've platform. got some bias here. <laughs> uh, I've been hurt before. <laughs> okay. Oh. Going down this corner. Oh, the up pair kills. Wow. Um, I can't express enough how much I'm enjoying seeing a new character out in a tournament like this. Hmm. It's, it's just so interesting to see a, a meta evolve before your eyes, you know? Yeah, I mean, some metas I'm happy to not see evolve <laughs> at all. I don't know if you heard about the whole Dragon Ball Fighter situation, but uh, uh, I believe Lab Coat Twenty One is banned. Yes, yeah. No Lab Coat, uh, and I mean, you know, we have palms, so. <laughs> I mean, the rivals team are pretty good with, with balancing things in the end. <laughs> Just a short delay on some things, you know. Well, we got another one coming, right? Yeah, of oh. course. Oh my god, that was robbery! <laughs> what? Stop doing your oh little spinny god. dance. Stop stop spinning around in the air. Eat this up I'm, here. I'm glad to see him get punished for it because he's been <laughs> doing it every single stock. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. I know we didn't catch it on the, the stream, but Rendered Spy was shaking his head. Like, he can't believe he got pit by that. <laughs> he was so unhappy. That's those. Also in the back, guys, you can see Conga Halley. Oh, Christ. In his beautiful outfit. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Actually, let's do talk about it. Um, you know, there's a cosplay competition this weekend, right? Uh, yep, tomorrow, when, I believe. When, yeah, tomorrow? Yep. That's tomorrow. Do you think Conga knew that? <laughs> <laughs> I classic, classic Conga shows up for the cosplay competition a day early. <laughs> He's not even coming in tomorrow. He's just decided to wear this. <laughs> I don't... Man, I want some some more rivals players should come in tomorrow. I want some games. <laughs> okay, dash deck, fair. Let's go. All right, Nero's coming out. Dash attack. Okay. Sometimes I feel like my commentary uh, when Pom's on the screen is just whoa, dash attack, fair. I get memorized by the sound effects. To be honest with you, <laughs> I I think it's one of the best characters in terms of sound design. I, I love the sound effects. Mm. <laughs> oh. I, don't know. I love I love Edelus's sound effects. They're great. <laughs> Just the the growl that he does uh, or the <laughs> Yeah. I'm not sure if you can even call it a growl. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but we are really playing neutral right now. And yeah, I'm, not much is happening. See, I'm looking at the stage, thinking, was this the best choice? Because it it feels like Rendered's kind of stuck waiting for Osu in some situations here. I just want to say, for the longest time, I was telling Rendered, use side B to edge guard people, please, please, <laughs> please. And he's doing it now, and I'm happy. It's not always good since it refreshes resources, but against yeah. someone like Pom, if you can snipe out their float or something like that that's a real big advantage yeah I mean like if it's yourself. if it's force burn or something yeah yeah it, smoke, it, situations sure. like that for sure but it just opens the, the door to so many uh, great confirms Ooh. oh Mike just reaching 
that's kind of what I was talking about in uh, Ren and Spy's last set. He does that wall jump forward special to sort of recover, and it can be quite easy to pip out if you're expecting it, so... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of surprised people haven't just gone for the parry iframes and just chucked a big normal <laughs> when, when Ren tries to up or something. Uh, with how fast Ori is, sometimes that parry can lock you in too much, so mm. I can't understand why people won't go for it. I mean, you can cancel out of it because it's a projectile, I guess, but... Yeah. Oh! Hey, maybe I'm just bad. <laughs> wow. I, I'd, be, I'd be happy to admit it. That was a bit of a cool out. Okay, Osu. Oh my god. Great air dodge. That was perfect. I mean, we are low percent, but I think all of Osu's resources are gone. I uh, still had the down special field, of course. Okay, where are we I going? forget that um, Palm doesn't have the same resources as everyone else. She's just <laughs> privileged in that she <laughs> can just decide to get another float and... <laughs> Up special for free off stage, things like that. Oh, and there it is. Parry on the side B and uses those iframes really well too. Oh, oh dash deck. Is the dash deck so dangerous because it kind of. Oh! How much hit stun you're in, you end up lower than the stage level, so it makes it real tough. Oh, what a chase! Oh. Okay, the air. Sour hit, not gonna kill. Uh, Random spike, he's getting back onto stage. The forward air almost was enough to cover it. Okay. Oh. oh my god, Renard Spies going for big stuff oh. and Osu clutching out that game. Wow. That was that was dangerous. That was really, really dangerous. I feel like we're seeing that up tilt up air become a staple in Osu's kit so far. He's been using it to end a few socks. Good confirm, man. It's a good confirm. It feels like it comes out so quickly that you're just not expecting it. I oh, we got cool outs. We got cool outs in the chat. If Rainer wins this, it's because he joins Asia Weeklies. <laughs> Shout out to Maori Pops. Holding it down over across the ocean. Back to Tree Top Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Interesting to see you this stage. I'm not really sure. You know, I, I try to avoid the stage like the plague, so I don't know too much. Okay, I mean, having the, oh. the smaller stage floor is pretty significant for both these characters, I think. Um, mm. Could see some explosive stocks because of that. Well, one dash attack from Palm and that's like off stage, right? Well, yeah. You get that fear. Almost the same for, for Ori. Gets a back air oh. or an up air, suddenly Palm's off stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, the side be doing work. Needs to pop him here. Yeah, well done. That's enough, I think. Oh, no, he gets the extra up special from the wall. Oh, wow. He caught him on that roll. That was really good. Okay, going in for this up air at the dash attack. Oh, Vince comes into Vince. play. <laughs> Vince, the homie man coming in. Get, get the alley-oop going. Get your hands off her. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen much of uh, multiverses? I saw that apparently they have a very, very large prize pool. Oh, really? At, at Evo. I was just thinking, like, you know, like, get your hands off my girl. Sounds like something that I would almost hear in the multiverses <laughs> gameplay. Like, <laughs> could you imagine if rivals had voice lines like that? Like, <laughs> like specific to each character and all. Uh, the, I cannot make fun of a game that hasn't come out yet. That seems unfair. <laughs> like, the voice line, I'm just saying, if it happens, you got to get me on Endless. Yeah. I'm come sure on, someone Dan. can mod that in. <laughs> Donda! <laughs> <laughs> I was too focused today to scream Donda. I mean, Rendered's the one that needs to focus right now. We're on tournament stock. And those up airs are going to do short work. Gets oh, gang. Oh. Big fair. Osu going to be taking the air. set. Rendered Spy playing out of his mind today. But Osu, you know, the the classic. <laughs> he's a he's a good player. In case you didn't know that already. Yeah, congratulations to Rendered on the top three finish. I think that may be his best placing ever, not just at a local, but ever. Right, so he doesn't he isn't top three at a local? I'm mm, I'm uncertain. I'm just in terms of like the players here as well, things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, good thing Solus wasn't here. Or the Silvanos. No Silves in the bracket today. I mean, no, no Xenix is the, the big one I'm missing out on. Mm. 
Would have loved to have seen them make a make a showing. Is okay. Jet does have a set to throw away, but the fact that yeah, I know you can't see it on the stream right now, but he's choosing every character. It's conceivable, but <laughs> I think he settled on Forsburn after how well they did last game for him. Yeah, we'll see if Osu can make the adaptations he needs to uh, for this grand final. Um, <laughs> which I might want to write in the stream tool. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in there. It's in there. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my god, the scores need to be updated as well. Who hired Yeah, man? wow, quick set oh, for Osu, man. <laughs> <laughs> man just got on the setup. I won't be getting paid for today, that's for sure. <laughs> they're, they're not going to go they're play taking that out of my profits. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, so it's, it's I would I would have loved to play Dragon Ball, um, but you know, I think this is more important. More important to see Jets Falls burn, run an absolute marathon against a uh, Palm here. Absolutely. <laughs> I just know at the end of this, one top player is uh, gonna get their ass kicked, <laughs> and I love to see it. You know. Yeah, I mean, uh, did you hear about the MMA fight that we're gonna be doing for whoever loses? You know? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. It's in the in the car park. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, whoever is running that better hope that Jet loses. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I mean, you bring Osu to the MMA ring, <laughs> it's a whole different game. <laughs> oh, good parry on the clone. Osu is, uh, you know, hanging in there. It's, Got the projectiles here. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's looking pretty even right now. Nothing crazy's <laughs> happening. Whoa! All right. I am sorry. I'm sorry. Commentator's curse coming in right there. Something crazy is happening. Yeah, Jet's I don't taking think Osu was stock. expecting it. DI just wasn't on point there. I mean, who does? The the down strong on, on Forsburn, man. It just it just comes out of nowhere. It's like, oh I DI that way. Oh man. Vent's coming into play, not quite gonna be a kill. Okay, dash deck. Got the cape. Clone! Oh what a confirm! Jet! Wow, putting in the work. I mean oh, we were it? talking about the alley oops with Vince, but Forsburn. Coming with the clone. The, the, the All clones, you need, really. The clones, the capes, I mean. Magnets, man. <laughs> oh my god. Well, no one else got me. I know I got me. <laughs> <laughs> They're still coming out. Oh, the cape. More capes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Jet is, is doing a great job of playing this neutral, actually. He is uh, keeping yeah. it simple, man. I just I don't feel like Osu really has a, has a footing in mm. this set. I just feel like the, the matchup maybe isn't working out for him. I don't want to call Ooh. the maple swap too early. It's maybe not something that's in the cards. I, th I don't think it is. I think, you, you I think, think that's Osu's going to commit. I think that might be a dropped character. Dropped character? <laughs> Osu has been adamant on the palm. I mean, has he, has he pulled out Osu in... Br uh, Osu. Uh, the character association is real with that one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Has he pulled out maple in bracket since palm came out? Oh... I don't think so, because we've only had a couple small ones. Um, I haven't been attending those, so mm. I can't answer that with 100% certainty. <coughs> Alright. But how, how crazy would it be to see Jet win Bam not even using his main? <laughs> I, I know it's more of a, a co-main at this point, but... Yeah, we, we I mean come to We've come to expect the Raster. It would be kind of crazy if a Pom won. <laughs> that would be like a, f a first for workshops, yep, right? World first, I'm sure. <coughs> for a big major event, anyways. Absolutely. I'm not sure if people will count it being Australia and all, but <laughs> we'll, we'll claim it anyways. Oh, uh, bro, I that that discussion, that discussion really makes me yeah. mad. I get I get really mad because <laughs> Australia is dope, bro. I I got messed up today. <laughs> I'd, I'll laugh it off, you know. I, I, I know. I'll, just because we don't have as many players, we don't have as many grinding the way that you have in NA. Higher concentration of players doing that in NA and in Europe, of course. Mm -hmm. but I, I mean, mean we're stacked, you though. Can see, you can see the players who have been grinding. They're the ones who ended up to on very, top today. Very, very, very good. It's yeah. evident what the difference is these days. You can't just show up and expect to cruise through. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Near into the fair. Another near. 
Uh, not taking it very far, though. Wow. <laughs> that, uh, that up tilt missed, huh? It is good to see Osu at least find some ground. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Alright, they're still coming in. Oh, the cape. We're trying to find this explosion. Yeah, I'm oh. really surprised at how well the clone's been working out for Jet. Okay, the cape. Wow. It may be a there. you know a player thing, or potentially Pom just doesn't have the tools to. Oh, oh that to deal mix with it. up. I I've never seen that one. <laughs> Physic, you better be watching. Take some notes. Oh, got the up tilt. Oh, okay. Really would have loved to seen that connecting to the up air, but I feel like we got just yet on the outside. Yeah, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Went through him. <laughs> Whoa! What a chase, Osu. Wow, that was a really strong game too. 28% on a second yeah. stock. Stamp your feet, that's done. Love to see it. I, that's the first game that Osu has taken. Against the Falls Burn? Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to, you know, I'm sure that'll shake Jet a little bit. Oh, look, we have another set um, in the bank if it's needed. I don't think we'll be seeing a character swap anytime soon. Mm -hmm. uh, it would, we'll just have to wait and see. If, if Osu can continue the wins on the Falls Burn, then yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm getting called out. I'm getting called out in the chat. Getting called out by Menace of all people. If you say something wrong, he'll, he'll show up out of nowhere to correct you. Man. I looked up to your Edelus clips, man. <laughs> so sad. But I mean, maybe it's not a mix up, but. I I've, I've had dreams where Menace has come and corrected me, you know? <laughs> With DI like that, I, I'm sure it certainly makes somebody up. <laughs> that's that's all I'm saying. Okay, up till fair down air. We're 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 getting the combos going, getting them started. We get the flat stage going as well. It's it's interesting to see Forest Floor come out into play. Who do you think uh, it's favored for this? I mean, I I feel like Float is a really powerful tool, um, mm. but the way Jet's been playing, he's been covering landings really well. So. I suppose the thought process is if I can keep Osu close to the ground, I can get more of those cape things going. Yeah, I, I, and I mean, he is a raster player, so. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Definitely he loves he the has an stages. affinity for this stage with that already. All right. But, but Osu we do have small blast zones to consider, yeah. especially off the top. Um, so I, I feel like Pom's up air is going to be a real, real threat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Not sure right. what we're seeing there. The I, cape yeah, into the dash down. To him. What is he doing? <laughs> not a mix-up. Not a mix-up. Not by a mix-up. Not a mix-up. Not a mix-up. That was that's crazy. These these big brain rivals players, man. I don't understand them. <laughs> well, it's coming into play. Not quite getting the combo. I I, I just press. You know, no direction. Light attack. <laughs> fast forward input. Do it again. <laughs> uh, uh, just throw the rock every now and then, and sometimes I win. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spirit, man. That's a spirit. I think I'm, I think I'm past my prime, whereas these guys are still hanging on. Me too. I'm, I'm <laughs> way past my prime. <laughs> oh! I won two Christchurch locals. Done. Done, yeah. I'm a retired rivals player. I mean, Jet and Osu, you can consider them veterans of this scene. They've been around for oh, years. absolutely, uh, man. Osu has never actually hit that top spot, though. Uh, I mean, he's won an RCS twice, I think, an RCS monthly. That would have been, like, before rollback, though, right? Oh, won one on rollback, I think. Okay. Um, took one local off me maybe early last year, mm -hmm. but never at a big major like this. Um, I see. I mean, grand finals, he's never even been in this situation before. This is a huge opportunity for him to... Add no, something I mean, to the trophy he's, case. He's <laughs> also been putting in a lot of effort on this pom. Um, also, definitely one of the, the the top players that asks for games a lot. Whew. There's that up here that I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, very nice. <laughs> okay, so Osu looking to take this first set. Just needs one more. Feels like such a celebration with uh, pom's end game victory music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Osu's looking for that reset. 
and Jets stand strong on the fours man so far. I'm I don't so, think I'm I don't think he would swap this, man. Uh, this I'm set. getting learned in this damn chat. <laughs> this guy came here. He's like, I heard one thing. This Let's Go guy on commentary. What is he saying? Doesn't know anything. Interesting. We're seeing the Aramata pick again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've definitely uh, informed me about uh, the the frightening Whoa. terrors of Force Run on this stage. Oh well, I honestly I still have a bit of PTSD from like early access Falls Burn. Like, <laughs> wow! I think back when we had like six stages or even less. I can't even remember. This was like Falls Burn's best stage because he could just up special infinitely or above the platforms in in smoke Sick. anymore. It was that's <laughs> awesome. It was so silly. That is, <laughs> and that's that's just my opinions never developed past that. I just got <laughs> so traumatized from that. Uh, okay, what I, are see, we, I see what we're doing. I oh, look at uh, Osu's got the percent lead. I I feel like <laughs> this is the right play. My God, <laughs> they look so dead in the eyes right now. <laughs> He's winking. He's <Yes, laughs> winking at me now. He knows I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> Grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Why? All right, all right. Maybe, maybe we're going to approach now. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I want to see something happen. Oh, this is a parry, but we're good. That's uh, officially the closest we've been to a timeout a situation in you know, Australia history. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're even doing it for sixty seconds, but it just Actually, feels extreme. In Christchurch, there is a player that plays raster and just tries to circle camp. Oh, really? Yeah. He I'd, doesn't I'd, like rivals. I'd love to play that. So he just enters the bracket to circle <laughs> camp. That's so funny. <laughs> okay. I'm, n I'm not quite sure who initiated that whole thing. <laughs> you think Jet's just kind of feeling like Osu's ad adapted and maybe trying to slow oh, wow. it down or something? Or just How did, I, how did yeah, that even happen? <laughs> it, but it did happen. My eyes are not playing tricks on me! Wow. That was wild. Okay. <laughs> Dash past. <laughs> Damn, trying to make the big call outs. I mean, the up air is the, the big big threat here. Boom. Bring another one like that. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be it. Resetting the bracket. 3 1. God damn. See, now is the consideration time. He timed out Space Ape. This is what Dan imagined when he Wait, <laughs> wait, he, he timed out Space Ape? <laughs> I thought he was just an O2 or <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm I'm sorry. Look, I know Jet has a palm, but I was not expecting to see it. Oh my god, wait, <laughs> wait a second. That's that's really what's happening. <laughs> oh Jet, do not go down this oh path. Oh my god. Don't do it to me. The pom man, we got another one. See, Jet does this sometimes where he just. He we runs do have call outs in the chat, actually. Runs out of energy in a bracket and he just he does things like this. And I I never understand it. Because he. <laughs> <laughs> when he's playing good, he makes it so far and he makes it <laughs> feel effortless. It's, yeah. it's so impressive to watch. <laughs> he's just like, oh yeah, I'll play pom, I guess. <laughs> Well, we got the call out from the chat. Superdot saying that uh, Jet is going to get washed. Is it true? I know hey. this, this is the character that uh, Jet played in the workshop tournament that he won. He has actually quite a bit of experience with POM. Um, so not just workshop days, because I know he played um, some workshop POM as well. Oh, I mean the Gabe's uh, initial tournament. Oh, when, when, the, they, they, when they released. The game, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. But mm -hmm. even before they released as part of the, the mm -hmm. base cast, he was, he was playing a bit of POM. I see, I see. So it's definitely not uh, no, too surprising of a pick, but I don't know what you're thinking going to a ditto. It's <laughs> <laughs> the ditto's are Unless a whole he has some base. serious thoughts about the character. <laughs> you know, I I came all the way out here to watch uh, Pom versus Pom in Grand Finals. Yeah. Reset. <laughs> Remember, uh, new patch this morning, nerfed both these characters, so. 
Well, one one character, I suppose. <laughs> and we are not playing on that patch. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be the reason why Grand Finals isn't Lichgo versus Red Chain. Oh yeah, of course, that's yeah. Got to be it. Look, I don't think there's any reality where I could disregard how much work OC's been been putting into this character. Oh, that's absolutely. It's just quite funny to see that this is what Jets have come to now. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really like this color. Is this a base color or is this custom? Uh, I I think, yeah, this is one of the base colors. Wow. I'm pretty sure. It's a nice take on an orange. Mm. Oh my <laughs> god. The palm brain cell is really kicking in right yeah, now. Yeah, of course. Okay. He's not going to make end it to it. that, is he? No, end he, it. yeah. End it. End it. Please. Oh my, wow, wow, okay. All right, goes for the up air. Go for more, oh my, we're just throwing out buttons. The whiff punish with the dash attack. I mean, o Osu was dash dancing okay. on him, man. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think Jet's a happy boy. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, the headphones are off. Yeah, that's, that's better. <laughs> he's actually ditched the music. I don't think he's... Oh, is he going for the in-game sound? That is unheard of. I've never seen Jess play with game sound in tournaments before. I think that is that is objectively bad. <laughs> 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 he he vibes to the music. He just yeah. I guess he's decided that now's the time. You know, I'm a I'm a big fan of of hearing when things happen. Yeah, personally. no, I I believe in audio <laughs> cues as well. They do exist. <laughs> like, like, what if, what if you play an endless? Yeah, well, you want to hear the? I'm sure you figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but I suppose if you play, if you play with game sound, that you can't hear the Donda. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's also. That's He's also not going to hit him with that. What are you what? doing? <laughs> oh my God! The reversal. Oh, I think that one hurt, Jet. I could, I can kind of see it in his oh eyes. Oh my okay. God. Okay, but yeah. Jet, man, as you said. Looks effortless. <laughs> so good. Yeah, when, when he's on, it looks effortless. He needs, <laughs> <laughs> needs to switch on first. Okay. And what SNC needs to do is he needs to update the uh, the scores. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. No one notice? <laughs> no one. <laughs> All right, back airs coming in. We got him off stage. Another one, the up air, not quite gonna kill, but we're getting close. Wow, 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 what a reversal. Okay, Jet is, is in a great position now. A bit of a tighter contest now, so I'm hoping Ooh. that. Yeah, the fear into the up strong is gonna take it off the top, but also gone for that. I mean, he's, oh. it's too high. It's been, it's been too high so many times with that fear. It was an interesting little recovery there from Jet as well. Decided to go low and save his jumps, but. Mm -hmm. Osu was on Ooh, it. Ooh, calling out the parry. He didn't land there, did he? I think he was down a jump. Oh, oh, oh big wow. fair. Go for another one. Okay, the end strong oh into God. the fair. We're still going. He has one jump left, maybe? Another I think he landed because he got his air dodge back. Okay, we're, we're going a little bit crazy. Oh, he's in the air. That's a bad position. And Osu taking game two of the reset. On his path to victory. I just think Jet's really struggling to find the edge guard. Mm. That's that's what I'm seeing so far. He's having a lot of difficulty in also recovering as well. I mean, the, the way that Osu has been edge guarding him, it's <laughs> yeah. the way he's been edge guarding it. It's not something that I've seen against Rasta very often. Yeah. He is struggling a little bit. I mean, it feels like Jet is kind of getting hit and then losing it a little bit. Well, I just think he's not used to the way Float kind of interacts with his character. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're talking about things now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but Jet's just yeah. not, not happy with what's been said. <laughs> <laughs> That's your TO. <laughs> I think Jet wanted the uh, 
like the salty run back and Osu banned the stage and he's trying to ask like is he allowed to ban it <laughs> salty run back isn't actually a ruling <laughs> you can't <laughs> you can't stop your opponent banning a stage just because you played on it and lost on it last game <laughs> Man. Yeah, this is being played on the old patch purely because the patch released the morning of this tournament. <laughs> it seems unreasonable to expect our players to sort of adapt to that on the fly. Honestly, considering uh, the only people playing Workshop is uh, top player, privileged Osu, uh, I'm more than happy to see those oh, guys Oh, look, I, I don't think the patch has made a significant difference in how Osu has played huh. anyways. Um, I mean... That specific interaction where he's floating while charging mm. the notes, that's something that was removed, but okay. overall, I, I feel like he'd be playing a very similar set. Yeah, I only had a brief look. I was uh, looking at it with TTH um, in our place this morning before he left. Oh, wow! <laughs> that was wild. That was, a, that was a combo. God damn. Okay. I do hope everyone's looking forward to the boring frame data stream when it comes. <laughs> <laughs> but Jet getting on the board here is what we really need to see. If we can keep that going and find some footing in the rest of Yeah, absolutely. And some footings. We're finding feet. We're finding wings, man. <laughs> tails on the other side, though. The tail's been rough today. Get your talons in it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Got to do a bad. Oh my. Okay. He's back. No edge guard. I'm just so scared every time I see all the notes. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Gets wow. Okay. Jet times it just enough for oh the beat to carry. Oh my god. <laughs> up strong there would have would have done it. Was it fair? Evening up the stocks. Osu 82% in the A minute the 40 in to take that first stock off Jet though. It feels like we're going for a much more of extended game than we've been seeing so yeah. far. Oh, what a parry! Right. Okay. I guess we're just going for the up special. I'm not sure if I expected something else. Okay, sour, oh but... Oh my god, the sour kill? Yeah. Wow. Just unfortunate DI, I think. I think that was sour. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's tough. It did look like it was quite far into the wing. Oh, wow. Trying to catch that air dodge. Not quite getting it. Osu. <laughs> Looking to finish this, you know, earlier than Jet does. Um, you know, if we can take the clean 3-0, that's huge. I mean, yeah. Oh my god, wow. Okay, he if that can still get back, isn't it? Yeah, division. easily. Ooh! Wow. <laughs> okay. Alright, Jet got his name on the board in this reset now. Osu just gotta keep it simple, keep it clean, keep it consistent. Take this I'm going to say it now. I'm not familiar enough with Pom. If Osu was facing the opposite direction, I wouldn't have been able to tell in the moment. I would have done exactly the same roll and I would have got hit by that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Love me some boring frame data stream. Super dot <laughs> with the support in the chat. It's my brand now, you know? The frame data <laughs> guy. I'm the frame yeah. data guy. No, I'm, I'm the boring frame data guy. <laughs> You can't forget the boring. <laughs> no Tempest. Banned. Not allowed. Good. Oh, I can't believe we're still spinning circles here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the mouse is not. Apologies. Didn't want to behave on me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, no, we're opening everything. <laughs> Screen is open now. We're getting some gameplay. So we're going to treetop for this oh one. Oh my god, deep off. Alright, catching that dash attack. I mean, Jet's got his jumps back, so he's going for a bit more of a linear recovery there. I think he's going to be forced to recover a bit differently. Oh, that's bad. Yep. Yep. Oh, and you can see Jet's not happy, man. What really hurts about that is the dash attack kind of clips you from underneath the stage, mm. but you never land when you're getting pushed by it. So. Yeah. You could be just underneath the lip and get knocked away without any resources. Okay, Jet. Oh, my God. That was a tragic miss. So close to catching that. Just got caught on that, that stage, man. Oh, slipped in underneath him. 
<laughs> Whoa. Definitely caught Jenna by surprise. Damn, we're, <laughs> we're zooming right now. This is crazy. <laughs> Stuff's happening. Okay. Probably the slipstream. He's without his movement. Oh, oh my god. Are you serious? What a call out. Just I in the neutral, man. Just I feel like smash. we're just throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks <laughs> at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bit. Oh, no. A bit risky going for the forward air there. I think you really needed to prioritize getting back. And you hate to see something like that happening at this point in the set as well. Osu just I needs... Mean, Osu's admitted that one of his weaknesses with his palm is the recovery. He doesn't do the okay. down special harmony field as mm. often as he could. Right. So, <gasps> potentially okay, could have been something he could have done to keep the stock. Okay, but yet, yeah, managed to get Jet out of his pratfall, but missed the tech chase, and now Jet's turning it around. Oh, managed to get him for the, for the float. Gets the tech okay. read. Not the DI read, though. Yeah, I mean, if Ozu could find a big edge guard here, it could be pretty big. But uh, he's going to get back on for free here with the way Jet's using that. But Okay, yeah. But well, wow. nice two piece from Jet. We are going to game five. Insane. Yeah, I mean, speaking of two piece, two wins a piece. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this I, is. I apologize to the people at home for words I've previously said. You know, said. this is a major, man. We're at BAM. This is <laughs> BAM. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Man. And the reset too. It's crazy. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just want to say this this bit rate at the bottom right is uh, causing me pain. Causing you pain. <laughs> I think we've been streaming using people's hotspots and <laughs> mobile tethering. Let's go. I I'm really in Australia now, man. It's it's great. <laughs> Jet's gonna have some hydration before this. That's that's some big sips. <laughs> Absolutely. Get it in ya. Game 9 Tempest, not happening. Alright, so DSR is going to be in effect, so really is going to limit some options here. Yeah, so Osu's pick. Okay, oh, wow. we're going to tower. I felt like he seemed more confident with that pick. He didn't wait as long as he had been, but I guess he had the entire time that Jet was grabbing a drink to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> But it all comes down to this, man. Making a good decision wow. on the stage list. Oh, my God. Okay. He can still clip him here. It decides to play patient with the tornado. Wow, what a back here. That was amazing. Uh, right out of Hitstone, I think. Oh, forward, it just whiffs. But oh, what's he doing there? my God, to... Jet, no. You cannot be doing this. <laughs> wow, that is. I, I cannot believe that. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough, man. That's rough. Sometimes you what see those things up? and you just need to laugh. <laughs> these, these uppies, man, they're just not, not yeah. getting that spot. Look, they, they've been costly to Jet in other tournaments as well, but... When he's oh. feeling himself. Okay. Doesn't go for the upper that time. Ooh. Wow. Was he I out of prefer. range or an invon? It seems... Oh, my God. Wow. Osu is taking a commanding lead in this. Jet's going to have to dig deep if we're going to see again, anything. Not again, man. You're going to oh. out by that. Oh. All right. Okay. Really important to take that stock now, but we need to convert into That's another here. Oh, good parry from Osu. <laughs> Man, and he's so far in the lead. He really just needs to keep it simple now. Oh, I can reverse the situation a little bit here. The float wasn't enough because Jet was able to just sail above. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Ah, uh, okay. We're good. Oh. Oh, my God. Jet. He's making the comeback. The reverse three stock is on the way. Oh my god. Not like this. Oh. Not like this. Not like this. Wow. Oh. Oh. The onslaught continues and Vince coming oh, into play. Be careful. Oh, he's just getting That's, clipped a little. Okay. It's not it yet. Okay. Osu. Finally finding some ground he's on stage. He's got to keep it simple, man. Keep it simple. Don't do anything crazy. That could risk you losing the set. Good DI on the straight hits there. That's oh. what he needs. He needs to continue that, but... Okay. Okay, that might be big. Ooh, oh, my God, air. the forward air. Oh, oh the Zash Tech Wow, the whiff. Oh, he's going for these strongs, man. They're not going to... Oh, the oh, damn Up down. Up there. Yes. That's it. Oh, two takes it. <laughs> Bam, 12. Rivals of Aether. Game 5 situation. Osu is your Bam, 12 champion. Let's go. He's been hitting the up tilt, the up air.
this entire tournament, and it comes through one last time for the tournament. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be commentating tomorrow, eh? <laughs> I am... My voice is like pretty gone from that. That was, that was intense. We have a new first time BAM champion. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> I That's think we're, we're going to try to get Osu on for a quick interview. <laughs> That'd be great, yeah. Absolutely. Would love, to, would love to hear what this man has to say. Are you happy for me to do the interview with him? I think there's, there's years of, of work to Go discuss. Go for it, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll, give a, I'll gladly give this man my mic. Ben? Osu. Thanks very much. Let's go. Hello there. Congratulations. Why, thank you. You are a BAM champion. That's uh, <laughs> a little bit unreal, but I guess, uh, yeah, it is what it is. What a wow. tournament. First time coming out with the POM and you... And there we go, we win what it. A, what a showing. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I, uh, I'd like to think that it was all skill, really. And, uh, <laughs> well, maybe the... Uh, we, we can't talk <laughs> about the patch. It, it <laughs> I'd like uh, to hear yeah. your honest thoughts about, about the set, about the tournament. Um, Jets Forsburn really kind of... Because um, in winners' finals, he basically just whipped out the fours and just destroyed me. I had no idea what to do. So I yeah, had to completely I like try and change my game plan, change how I approach things. So um, one of the things that I realized was like I'm just kind of approaching him horizontally all the time. And yeah, so of course. I started trying to make more... Uh, considered use of the, the platforms to try and like use my Nair and um, all of that sort of stuff to try and get in and I think that helped quite a bit. Um, it certainly seems like Jet lost a bit of his mental when he switched over to the POM Ditto in the reset. That yeah. was a bit weird. I mean, uh, that mental is, is really important to Jet. So, <laughs> having that slip. I can see he's already put the backpack on. I'm worried. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's kind of... I done. made jokes that he would leave before the top three photo. <laughs> if he actually does, I'll be livid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Um, good stuff, though. Uh, Jack's actually trying to take a photo of him as he walks away. He's left the building! <laughs> <laughs> Off he goes. Oh, goodness. How is he going to retire in peace now? Being number two. Yeah, I think he, he did say he had plans of making this his last event. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just Photoshop that into the top three? I actually love that. The photo that Jet's, uh, Jack's taken of Jet doesn't have anyone else from the entire venue in the background. It's literally That's just true. him walking away. <laughs> <laughs> Can flash that to the cam really quickly. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, we can't even get number two on uh, stream now for, uh, for thoughts. I mean, number one and number two. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> okay. I didn't realize he was in such a rush. Yeah, that's all right. What's I, that? Yeah. I think we're going to wrap up here. Um, Osu, have you got anything to say to the folks at, at home about the Rivals V through Australia community? Well, massive fans. Uh, well, massive <laughs> shout out to uh, to Superdot. Massive fan, uh, as he as he knows. Uh, I think his Clarence pretty sick. Um, shout outs to, to Solus as well. If Solus was here in person... Rendered, it would have been tough for Rendered to get top 12. I oh, reckon. yeah, okay. <laughs> He's, uh, Rendered just cannot play the Sylv matchup. Is that the theory, is it? No, it's it's being executed in practice as well. Oh, he yeah. just, whenever Xenix or Solus There's is in tournament. There's evidence at play. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, no. Rendered just sucks. Uh, look, so, uh, what I was asking for was more of the general shout-out. Like, if you're part of Australia and you're not in the Rivals of Ether community, uh, come join us. We're in the Old Smash Discord. Yes. We have weeklies running we have an amateurs league running which has been really fantastic to see so far um and of course we've got the upcoming rcs season i'm sure oceano will be a part of that i'm still waiting oh, on yeah. plans to be announced for that i'm not sure if we have those just yet um but yeah more events to come you're gonna see a lot of us here a gang in new south wales actually come late july for mega metal cavern oh yes the so that's the, the next major on the cards looking forward to that Looking forward, like Me Mega Metal Cavern is always uh, such a treat to play at. It's just such a nice venue and um, much more of an intimate experience. The BAM is, but yeah, BAM 
it feels like there's such a sense of scale being here. Oh, yeah. There's so, so much importance placed on this event. Uh, I don't think you'll forget being a BAM champion. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I do have a question for you. How are you going to reconcile with no longer being Australia's best crag? By oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I'll be the numbers man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the boring frame data man. Oh. That's all right. Well, thanks for having me on. It's good being here. And thank you for everyone who's joined in the stream today. Uh, I look forward to more coming from the Rivals of Ether Australia community. Thank you all.